Welcome back, everybody. Hello, Saints Nation. We are back today with some Rocket League CRL Open number four. Our Saints green team is in the loser's bracket, but hopefully they can make a really, really good run and uh, win it out today. I'm your host, Theo, also known as the Holy Horn, and I'm joined by... I'm Avery, also known as Binu. If you wanted to call me that, you absolutely can. I'm so excited. It's a great day for some Rocket League. I'm really excited to see how our team plays. Although it is a loser's bracket, it's still going to be challenging and i'm just really excited absolutely we've seen our team for the last uh, three weekends play in the sierra open and uh, they've had pretty good success winning the first one the other two falling a bit short but today is the first week that they are starting off in the losers bracket so can't make any mistakes today we had a lot of close series last week but uh, managed to win some three twos lost lost a couple of them and uh I think we got like top six, I believe, last week, I if think I'm not so. wrong. I think that's right. So hopefully our Saints this week can uh, go on a really good run from the from the lower bracket. And they're playing Davenport in the first round. A very, very strong team. And uh, it's not a team we want to just look over. It's going to be a hard matchup in the first round. Absolutely. I mean, we have – it's just the green roster, right? Yeah, today? it's the green so roster. So if we could just see the bracket, that would be all righty. We're at the bottom there. We're playing Damporth, and if we win, we're playing the winners of Cumberland Maroon and Drexel Dragons Gold. So uh, two also very good teams, but I think we played Davenport last week, and it was a very, very close matchup, a 3-2 matchup. I don't remember which way it went, but uh, yeah, hopefully our green team can uh, come out hot and uh, start swinging with everything they have. Yeah, it's, I'm honestly so glad that you could read that because those <laughs> words are so small. I genuinely couldn't find us, so you kind of saved me there. Um, yeah, so it's <laughs> thank you for zooming in. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's honestly, it's looking like it's going to be pretty exciting no matter which way it goes. And the longer it goes, the more good teams are going to be in the tournament. These are teams that we've seen week in and week out for the last uh, three weeks competing for the title here. A lot of very strong teams that we keep seeing repeating. Our Saints, surprisingly in the lower bracket, usually they're one of the top teams in this tournament, but maybe had a bit of a rough day yesterday and are going to have to pick it up today. Uh, let's see what else we got. We got in the upper bracket, we got Algonquin GVSU. Then we got Indian River State College taking on U Ottawa. Wichita State University take on Indiana. I haven't seen Wichita play before, so maybe maybe they're playing really good this week. Maybe we see something out of them. And then we're going to see Florida Atlantic University and King University trying to get into those winners' semifinals. And in the losers' bracket, we got North Texas and UCF, uh, USF Gold taking on, uh, taking on in the first round. We got Florida State University and A&M Esports. We got our Saints taking on Downpoint, as we said already. And we got Cumberland Maroon taking on Drexel. Dragons gold so a lot of good matchups today a lot of Rocket League action and uh, I can't wait can't wait for the action yeah it's so many games honestly it's just a lot of Rocket League I genuinely enjoy watching it I know a bunch of you guys do and I'm really excited to cast this game coming up yeah so with all that being said players are getting into lobbies but we're gonna throw it to a quick break don't go anywhere and we'll be right back right after this
Alright, welcome back everybody and we are in game. We got our Saints, the Sinclair Saints green roster going up against Danforth University. A very, very exciting matchup in the first round of the losers bracket. It is CRL open number four. And uh, yeah, let's see what the, uh, what the Saints can uh, bring out. They are on the red side. We got Danforth on the blue side. Nitro is going to look for a pass towards the middle but won't be able to find too much. And uh, what are you expecting from uh, this matchup? I don't know. Round? I mean, we're 40 seconds in. Not much has been happening. Nitrix with a really good shot on goal. I saw earlier the team, Saints, they were scrimming and they were looking really good and they were communicating very, very well. So hopefully they can carry that momentum over to this game. A minute in, like I said, nothing really has happened. Almost a goal there from Spoods, but it is gonna be saved out. Nitrix trying to see what he can do mid, passing it to Spoods, who's going to pass it up to Vesh with really good air control, trying to just get the shots out, which is exactly what Saints are doing here. Vyra trying to get a clear onto the orange side, and he is going to get that. He gets it past Vesh, but he does sadly get demoed there by Nitrix, which is a huge demo, clears a lot of space for the Saints. Nitrix <laughs> also a couple demos coming out, which, like I said, is clearing a lot, a lot of space. Bolti bringing it to the corner, trying to see what he can do, but there's not much. So many bumps coming out there and just making so much room for the team, which is which is huge for the Saints as well. Vesh almost with a shot, but he just doesn't make it. It's cleared back to the orange end. Honestly, it's just ping pong right now. Two minutes in, it's just back and forth. Almost a shot though, but it's just not gonna make it. Davenport getting a little more aggressive, trying to stay on the orange end. Vesh seeing what he can do though, passing it to Nitrix who almost gets the touch to Spoods, but it just doesn't make it in. Two minutes, 50 seconds on the clock and no goals have been scored. Yeah, it's been a pretty even game, but there's gonna be a shot on target coming out from Bolti. Vesh with a very, very nice save and a, a very close first game. Not too many goals to start us off, but we're only halfway there. X gonna look for a pass towards the middle, can't find too much. Byro's gonna be up in there looking for a challenge, but Vesh is gonna get the clearance over to his teammate. Bolti's gonna get a touch on target, but Spoo's gonna clear it out. Nitrix gonna have a little control in the air. Can he look for attack of his own? No, goes over it just a little bit, and it's gonna be some defense coming up from the side of Danforth, but Spoo's looking to find a pass towards the middle, can't find him. Bolti now with a lot of space on this left side, gonna maybe look for a pass off the top, but it's gonna be a great save coming up there from Spoo's, a crucial touch, otherwise I would've been danger. Nitrix now, Going to look to start an attack for the Saints. Vesh going to pick it up at the halfway line. Going to get a touch there by X. Is going to get a nice little clearance there. Can Byra find this 50-50 with Spoo's on the side here? Yes, he does. It's a dangerous shot towards the net, but Nitrix is there to save it out. And he's going to be able to start the attack maybe for the Saints here. Drops it down over to Spoo's. Spoo's picks it up, but X is able to clear it out. And as you said, a bit of ping pong going on. Not maybe too much coordinated play as Spoo's gets a demo. But uh, it's good play from both teams, both playing very, very evenly and showing that they are at the highest level. Now Nitrix going to find a nice little touch off the wall. If he can get a shot on target here, would have been a goal, but just misses it off the post. Going to want that one back for sure, but Vesh is there on the cleanup and manages to make it 1-0 for the side of St. Clair. And that was just beautiful as well. Nitrix just barely missing the net there, but Vesh is there to slot it in. That is absolutely massive. Very good shot placement from him as well. The defenders just couldn't react in time. 
And like we said, that's 0-1. Saints up one goal, a minute 25 seconds. This is not lost for Davenport. They just have to figure out maybe they need to play a little more aggressively, get a little more coordinated. I think both these teams are very evenly matched from what we've seen. It's honestly just about maybe a little bit of a slip up on defense, and then you can just capitalize off that and score, which is almost what um, Bolte did. But Spooch was there with a really, really good save as well. Pyra trying to get bumps in the net. A lot of teams just playing really aggressively, trying to get these demos, trying to make this space for the team. Spoods, he's all alone, trying to see what he can do, trying to take the ball up the wall, but he is going to get stopped there. Bolte with a clear onto the orange end, and oh, it's it looking like a pass to Vyra, and a very nice shot from him as well. It's 1-1, 45 seconds. Like I said, very evenly matched, and a nice shot from Vyra as well. Spooge was almost there for the save, but he just couldn't make it. That placement was very, very good from Vyra. Very well played by Downforth, and 45 seconds left. They managed to make it a 1-1 game off the kickoff here. Could be a bit of danger, but Spooge is there to clear it out. Now, next goal is gonna be a very crucial, and just like that, Downforth, in a matter of 10 seconds, managed to take the lead with great passing play. Yet again, Bayer getting a nice pass off the wall, right over to X, who's in the perfect position to finish it off. Nobody from the Saints in the goal. And with 37 seconds left, now the Saints need to pick it up because they lost the lead. And if, if they don't score a goal here, it's going to be game over. Bayer finding a touch over to Vesh, and with 30 seconds left, Saints need to get a good attack going. That's a nice little touch there by Vesh. Managed to take it past his defender, but there's going to be a clearance coming out over to Bolte. Can he find a third? I don't think that shot's on target. It might have been, but with a nice save by Spooz. And with 20 seconds left, Saints, they have basically one more opportunity, and it's going to be right here. Vesh going to have a big 50-50. He's going to find the shot on target. Is it going to be anyone clear out? No, they won't. Vesh in the clutch, managing to find that <laughs> second goal. And with that, there's going to be one more kickoff, but very high chance that we're going to overtime here in game one. That was a little scary, <laughs> just a little. That placement was very weird from Vesh. I think he had just a little bit of a weird flick. And I, it surprised everybody. Obviously, the defender as well, whoever was there, just wasn't there to save it. 2-2 two -two right now. Somebody has to score. Otherwise, it's going into overtime. Three seconds. It's really looking like Davenport were trying to do something, but it is just going to get knocked to the ground by Saints, which is huge because you don't want to keep that up on your end because that is so, so dangerous. First game overtime. Oh, Nitrix. Nitrix with a pretty free net, but it's just a little too high. No Everybody is barely missing, but Nitrix gets maybe the weirdest touch I have ever seen. He just happened to be there, gets the flip, and just barely touches it into the net with the slight miss from Vesh. It manages to work out in Saints' favor. That was very, very interesting. I mean, Nitrix just, that might have been a little lucky. Obviously, the Saints are very skilled, but Nitrix just happened to get like that flip reset off the top yeah. and just barely touch it into the bottom of the net. That was absolutely hilarious, honestly. I don't even know how that happened, but either way, it did, and game one goes to the Saints, and it was very good. Very well played by your Saints, able to take uh, game one with a very, very close game. We saw in the first half of the game, no goals were scored. Second half, we saw four goals in overtime. We saw a nice little goal to finish out the game for the Saints. But it's a very, very close matchup in the first round here. Both teams looking very, very strong. And right, just like that, we're back into game two. Saints will have a control of the ball. It's going to be Vesh going for an attack but it's going to get cleared out by X. And I think this game, we're going to see a lot more fireworks as we see Byra take out Spoods on the demo. Both teams have kind of felt how each other play and will know how to play against them. So we're going to see probably, I think, a lot more action, a lot more goals, a lot more crazy things going on because the game did pick up in those last two minutes. Here, there's going to be maybe a chance for Danforth, but Saints able to clear it out. Nitrix. Gonna get challenged in the air. Bolte getting a very, very nice contest. Puts it right across net, but nobody from Downforth is there to clear it out. And Spoods will get a very, very nice touch around both defenders. Vesh is gonna pass it up to him. Bolte's gonna have a crucial touch to save it out. But Saints looking good here. Nitrix, can he find a shot on target? Yes, he can, but Bolte is there to save it out. Spoods gonna go for an attack of his own. Gonna pass it off the back. Is there gonna be any anyone there to follow up? No, there won't. And a bit of a misplay there from the Saints. Now Downport on the counter attack. Can they find anything? No, Vesh is there to stop it out pretty, pretty early and in the first minute here a lot of action but no goals just yet there is definitely a lot of action these teams are playing pretty differently from the first game everybody's just deciding we're gonna have to just knock people out of the way and get these oh, players out of here nitrix with a very nice shot as well 
a really, really good solo play. He didn't even need an assist. Good ball control, takes it up the wall, gets that last flip over X, and Bolte is almost there to save it, but he just didn't make it. A really, really nice shot from Nitrix. Only three minutes, 43 seconds left. There's a lot of time, honestly, but that first goal is huge for the Saints and hopefully momentum that they can carry. Spooge trying to clear it as best he can, tries to go for a little bit of a bump, but just doesn't make it. Bolte with the demo, demo onto Nitrix. Oh, Vesh save. with an insane save that was basically in his net. It was it was changing colors. It was gone. But Vesh said, no, it's not in my net right now. And that was a huge, huge save from him. Nitrix with really good control on bringing it to Davenport's side. Bolte trying to go for a clear. Vesh with a weird touch on the wall, but he is just going to let it go to X there. Oh, Spoods my. with the save, but it is going to be slotted in by Byra. A really, really good assist from Bolte there. Spoods almost had the save. The touch was really good, but Byra was just there, and Nitrix just didn't make it to that save. 1-1, one, one, three minutes left. This, These teams are honestly very similar skill-wise, and I think seeing how differently they play compared to first game, like two minutes in, two goals have happened now. This is completely different from the first game. You can really tell that they're trying to switch it up and do something different. Absolutely. That was a nice goal there by Downforth. And now Saints don't have the lead anymore. They're going to have to pick up the aggression a bit if they want to win this game. A nice little attack there coming out from them, but they won't find much X. They'll take it out of his defender. But all three Saints kind of in this corner. That demo is huge, though. Bolte would have had a really big clearance there, so well done by the Saints. Able to keep up the aggression. Vesh takes around his defender. And can he pass it off to a teammate? He can, but the touch is just off, and Byra's going to find the clearance here. But Vesh staying consistent. Spoods flying out of nowhere and getting a nice quick goal there for the Saints, seemingly out of nowhere. Very, very well, well done by him. We're going to see the pass coming out here from Vesh, and Spoods just flying in, hitting it so hard bolty a bit of a misplay in the net hit there couldn't find the save and the saints just like that take a 2-1 lead honestly where did spoods come from i nobody saw him coming a really good pass from vesh though obviously he knew he would be there so at least somebody knew where he was because i had no idea he would just show up and slot it but he did and one two saints are up one and in the best of five they're up a game they're looking pretty good davenport has a lot of time to respond to this though two minutes on the clock is a lot of time, but as I say that, Nitrix is going to get another goal and make Saints a little more comfortable this game. Ice. Davenport now has to... <laughs> is that a little bit of a goal steal, maybe, from Nitrix? It looks like Vesh could have taken that, or you just pass it up to Nitrix. He's a good team player like that. But yeah, two, two goals up. Saints are pretty comfortable right now, but they can't get too comfortable because two minutes is a lot of time for Davenport to respond. Yeah, and Rocket League two minutes is uh, not really two minutes. It's way more than that. You, you, as we saw in game one, Davenport scoring two goals in a matter of 10 seconds. So. I think they'll be happy with the fact they have two minutes. They won't be happy with the fact they're down 3-1 as our Saints looking way better here in game two. Putting on the aggression, able to score three quick ones. And with a minute 40 left, Downport are going to have to find something. Saints, though, playing very, very good defense at the moment. Playing a bit maybe more passive now that now that they have the lead. We're going to see Byron on the side here with Vesh. Bolte is going to pass it across the middle, but Vesh is going to take him out. That should slow down their attack very, very quickly. And there's Spoods on the attack. He'll take a pass too, but Bolte is going to have a bit of a dangerous opportunity. Going to pass him to himself off the wall, but Nitrix is there to stop it out. Great defense there. Spood takes out X on the demo, and it's going to be a counter here for the Saints. But X with a shot. Is that on target? Oh my goodness, what a touch by Bolte. And Byra is there to finish it off. And just like that, it's a 3-2 game. Now it's looking way more scary for the Saints as a full... Court shot Bolte with a crucial touch, and it's just great team play from the side of Davenport. That redirect from Bolte was, even though it didn't go in, it was very close, and that really helped Davenport get that goal. That was massive. That was really good. Nitrix tried his best, but he just couldn't make it oh, to that save. Oh, Vesh my. there almost gets a really nice flick into the net, but Byra is there to save it. The Saints are up. They don't want to lose this game right now. They're just trying to maybe get one more goal to solidify the game a little more for them, but they don't want to slip up. They don't want to make a mistake. You don't want to overcommit if you're on the side of the Saints right now because you don't need to. Just defend, hold what you can, try not to let Davenport get that goal, try to keep it on their side, and that's exactly what Saints are doing. Vesh passing it back to Nitrix with a lot of boost in the tank. Nitrix is going to see what he can do. He gets a good 50, honestly, with two players. He played that very well. Vesh with a shot, but X is going to save it out. All the Saints are up right now. Vesh, Spoods just hanging out in the corner. Nitrix trying to clear it onto the blue side once again. 
Byra trying to clear it, but it's honestly staying on the blue side pretty well. As I say that though, it is gonna go on to the Saints side. Finally, after Saints have kept it on Davenport's side for so long. X though, he has a lot of potential right now, but they need to keep it on the Saints side. Five seconds, they do have time to score, but they need to find something now. Bavesh is gonna clear it out. It's in the air. Nitrix is just going to honestly pop it. And Vesh is going <laughs> to score that, actually. Big, big clear from Nitrix. And Vesh gives them another goal. It's, they didn't need it, but it's fun. 2-4. Game two goes to the Saints. Yeah, very well played by our Saints. Holding on there with a goal lead. Able to make a 4-2 in the last second. As you said, it doesn't really matter too much, but well done by them. Going to be a nice little momentum boost there, if anything. And uh, now that they're up two games, Davenport are on their tournament lives. One, if they drop one more, they're out of this tournament because both teams are in the loser's bracket. And uh, Saints are looking very, very strong to take this series and keep the momentum for the rest of the tournament. So hopefully they can get that done. From the side of Davenport, what would you tell your players if, uh, if you're down two games here? Like, how would you get them back into the series? I mean, the loser's bracket is already really tough. And when you're in a best of five down two games, it's really scary. You just need to reset, go to the next, maybe fix a little bit of aggression. The bumps worked out very well for them. Demoing these players in net, bumping them was huge. Getting these passing plays, there's no heroes in this game. You have to work as a team and pass to each other. And I think Davenport just need to remember that. Just all work together. Clear out who you can that's on defense and just do what you can. It's not all lost, but having to win three games in a row is a little tough for Davenport, whereas Saints just have to win one. So Saints are pretty comfortable because they can make a mistake in one game, even two, and they still can win, but Davenport can't afford to make any mistakes in these games. Absolutely. You said it best there. Can Davenport can't make any mistakes as I believe the lobby blew up. So we're, uh, <laughs> we're going to have a little bit of a... Wait for the lobby to get back in. All the players are going to get back in. Probably a bit of technical difficulties, but it is collegiate esports. That stuff happens. Uh, we're going to go to us for a little bit, and uh, I don't know now. <laughs> now we just wait. <laughs> we just wait for the players to get back into lobby. Um, it's what, tough. what can we? What can we talk about? I mean. We could talk about whatever we want. I mean, the Saints are playing very good. Playing I think good. Nitrix is having some really, really good games, honestly. I'm honestly so proud of how he, as a player, has grown. He's improved so much since when we last saw him, and he just shows more and more that he is there to score these goals. Honestly, on Halloween, it was pretty funny. They dressed him up as, I think they had his face on a lawnmower because they say he just mows the lawn and just absolutely like just bumps these players out of the way and demos them. And it was absolutely hilarious. But he's showing that that's not all he is. That's not all he's good for. He is there to make these passes and score these goals. Oh, and nice clears. fake. It's huge. Vesh with a really good pass to Spoods, but Spoods just isn't going to make it. Saints trying to clear out space. Spoods with the shot nice. on the net. He almost doesn't make it, but he got it in there <laughs> eventually. Really good shot from him. Nitrix with the assist. Just with that light little touch from Spoods there, he just makes it. Davenport had a tiny bit of time to save it, but they just couldn't get there. 0-1 for the Saints right now. Four minutes, 40 seconds left. Davenport, like I said, has a lot of time, but they can't afford to make mistakes in this game. And Saints are just... They're putting on the pressure. They're just playing a bit better than Downport. Finding these very, very early goals changes the way the games are played out. The Saints, with these goals, early goals advantage, are able to play a bit more passive. But uh, Downport just have to go all in, all out, and they have to find these goals. Nitrix with the save there on X. And it's going to be a clearance coming out from Vesh here. Vista 1v1 on the defender, but X is there to clear it out. Now Spoods is going to have to find a clearance here. Oh, it's a dangerous touch into the middle of the field, and it's going to be a chance here for Downport. Can X find anything? Yes, he will! Right from the top, just able to bring it right into the net and kind of dribbles it into the net. Very nice play from him. A bit of a misplay there from the Saints, and the mistakes that you were talking about, that's what you don't want to see if you're a Saints fan. Damport, very happy with how that ended out. And just like that, it's a 1-1 game with only a minute, a minute gone in this game three. Honestly, yeah, as the games continue, just more and more is happening early, early, like earlier on in the game. And that's honestly just, you can really see that these teams are just learning more about each other as they, conti as they continue to play. Right, first game, they were really, really cautious, didn't oh, they messed really up. know who they were playing against, but there was just a little bit of a mess up with the pass on the side of Davenport. 1-1 right now, the game could go either way. 
Bolti almost with the shot, but a really good clear. X with the shot oh, as well, save. but Vesh is going to be there for the save, which is absolutely massive for the Saints. He keeps them in the game. Byra trying to get bumps on the Saints, but he's just not going to find them. As I said earlier, those bumps are really important. Nitrix oh. with a huge pinch there, just absolutely flying almost into the net, but it just doesn't make it. Passing it to Vesh. X is going to be there for the clear. Byra has a 50 with Spoots. It's going to go mid. Vesh passing it up for maybe a shot, but Byra is going to be there to clear it out. All the Saints are up right now. Vesh is going to opt to bring it back a little bit to get a little more control and then just shoot it back onto oh. Davenport's end. A really nice shot from him, but Bolte is there to save that. The defense has really picked up on the side of Davenport. So many saves are coming out, so many clears. They've really, really improved on their defensive side. Yeah, playing very, very well by both sides. The chances the Saints are creating are very, very dangerous. But Davenport just need one counterattack to maybe bring themselves into the lead. But there's a demo coming out by Vesh, so there's nobody to follow up on that pass. And now Davenport will regain control of the ball. Saints can try and finish off the series here as X takes out Vesh. It's a bit of danger here for the Saints maybe, but they have all three members back up again. Saints on the attack here. Can they find anything? X takes out Spoods. A lot of demos coming out in this later portion of the series. And it's going to be a lot of space for Bayer to work with. But Vesh gets a crucial touch there. X going to look for a cross towards the middle. But there is nice tricks to clear it out. Bolti going to look for something there. But no, the ball's going to be right in front of the downport net. But it's a great save coming out from Bayer. And with two minutes left, the intensity feels like it's at its highest. <laughs> As we said, downport can't afford to lose a game. Otherwise, they are out of the Sierra Open. Saints looking to make a lower bracket run, being a very, very strong team and looking to make it far. Let's see what X can do here. Nitro is going to find a nice little shot, but it's just off target, so not too much danger there. Finds the follow-up, but Bolti is there with the save. Crucial save there from Bolti, as that could have been the lead for Saints with a minute 30 left. Now it's going to be a shot on target coming out from X. Great, nice save by Spoos there, but is it going to be anyone to follow up? No, there won't be. It's great clearance from the side of the Saints. Nitrix going to find a shot on target. Spoos gets a nice touch there, and Vesh is going to be there for the shot, but Byra is there for the save. I think we're just seeing very high level of Rocket League from both sides, offensively and defensively. Ball's going to be in a bit of a dangerous area for Downport, but they are able to clear it out. Spoos, though, gonna just drop it in there. Byra's gonna be there for the clear. Nitrix gonna clear it out, and with a minute left, it's getting tense. It's getting very tense. Let's see if Nitrix can find things. Gets a nice little touch there. There's gonna be Vesh, and he will be able to put it in. And just like that, with a minute left, Saints have a 2 1 lead. That was very intense, Rocket League. That was quite scary gameplay. So many shots, so many saves coming out from the side of Davenport, doing everything they can, but the Saints just kept that aggression up, really tired out Davenport, just found a tiny window and used that to their advantage, which is huge. Just being able to tire out these players, they're gonna run out of boost at some point, just keep the aggression up and score that. And Saints have a one goal lead. With 40 seconds left, Davenport can score, but the Saints are looking very, very good right now. You can tell they really want to win this series and this game. They don't want to lose it, even though they can. It's just, it's it's not good for your momentum. Oh my. As I say that, Pyra is going to add a little bit of momentum to the side of Davenport. Bolte with a really nice pass to him. Vesh was in the net. He just missed that save. And Pyra is going to be there to score it. These are the windows that I'm talking about, these tiny little mistakes that these players can capitalize off of. It's huge, 2-2, 30 seconds left. That was almost a shot yeah, on that. That was a little scary off the kickoff, but it's still 2-2, almost 15 seconds left. The Saints are just trying to maybe play a little more passive. Maybe they're getting a little too aggressive, a little too confident, and they're making these tiny mistakes. Eight seconds left, somebody has to score or it is going into overtime. Vesh with a good save. Saints just playing it slow, probably just going to opt to let it hit the ground, which is exactly what they're going to do. Send it into overtime and see what happens. Yeah, yet again, we're going to overtime. Last time, Saints were able to find a goal very, very quickly. This time, a bit of a mix-up in the kickoff, but Spoos is going to have an attack. It's going to be great defense from the side of Bolte. Vesh is going to have control on the side, though, but he won't be able to make too much work with that. It's going to be clearance coming out from Nitrix and Bolte with a 50-50. Nitrix is going to have a nice touch on target, but Byra is there with the save. Vesh, however, is back on the attack with Nitrix. Can he find the pass over to Vesh? It's a great clearance from X, and the Saints can't find too much. Now it's going to be a counter coming out from Downport, but Vesh is there on the defense. They don't have too much 
up here. It's going to be a miss there from one of the players. But it's going to be a shot on target from X. Nitrix with a crucial save to keep the Saints in this overtime. 40 seconds in. Pretty close game here. That could have been a goal, but great defense from the Saints yet again. Byron now going to go for a 50-50. Nitrix, though, is going to find a nice little touch there. Bolti going to pass it over to X. Can he find anything with that? No spoods on the defense. He's going to be able to find it. And one minute into this overtime, it's looking very, very tense. It is definitely very tense. A minute in, you can tell that Saints are just trying to do what they can, clear it out, try to play a little more aggressively. But Davenport are playing oh very my. well and keeping it on the Saints' end with a demo oh, there on Nitrix. It looked like it was all over Bolti with the shot, but Spoods was there for the save. Saints going to take a little bit of more time to clear this out. Bolti trying to get that touch. He's just not going to make it. Saints are playing very close together on the defense. It is a little scary, but they have split up finally. Spoods with a really, really good clear, good ball control is going to have to 50 with Byra. Trying to get it back to the Davenport side, but as I said, Davenport is doing very well at keeping it on the Saints side. As I say that though, Nitrix getting a really good touch to mid, and it is going to go to X. With a demo oh. on to Vesh, that was huge, almost with the shot, but Vesh is going to come back and make that save. So many demos coming out, so much aggression. These teams really just want to score this right now, especially Davenport. They need this overtime. They absolutely need it. And Nitrix with really good aggression. But like I said, like twice now, Davenport is keeping it on the Saints side. We're seeing little misses, little slip ups on the side of the Saints, and they just need to focus a little better. Vesh with a really good save there. But there's just so much happening, so many little misses. Everybody is committing every ball. Two and a half minutes into overtime already. Byra trying to clear it out, but it is finally going to be on Davenport's side for a little bit after what seems like forever. Spoots, a really good 50, hitting that up oh, for Vesh with a pass to Spoots. He's almost going to make it, but no it is way. just going to be a little wide, and he just doesn't get there. Trying to get it back to Saints' side. Byra's going to be there almost for the touch, but it is going to be cleared out by Nitrix, which is massive, so crucial. You don't want to let these passing plays happen. Almost three minutes into overtime and no goals yet. As I say that though, Bolti looking really good. Oh, gets dangerous. the flip, but Nitrix is going to be there to save that shot. Nitrix absolutely just keeping Saints in this game. Like, this is just three minutes of no goals is so, so scary. As I there say that though, a really, really good pass from Spoots to Vesh. And he's going to score that and lock in the whole series for them. Yeah, and just like that, with one swift attack, Saints are able to eliminate Davenport. They're going to be moving on in this tournament. And uh, honestly, they're looking pretty good against a pretty tough opponent, making it 3-0. Yes, they did go to two overtimes, but they made a uh, quick work of the overtimes, especially in the first one. Second one, three minutes, a bit longer. But well done by our Saints. Uh, congratulations to them to moving on. And Downport are out of the tournament. They're a strong team. They're not going to be happy with this performance, but uh, we'll be. We are happy because we are a bit Saints biased. Maybe. Maybe just a, just little. a little. I bit. mean, Davenport put up a really, really good fight. They really showed their potential. It is really tough to get 0-3 though, yeah. especially in a lower bracket is already difficult to be in. So to have that, I think Davenport just need to go next, honestly. But I'm very proud of the Saints and how they played. They played really, really well today. And as the games continued, they only played better. Yeah, absolutely. And as the games are going to keep going, they're going to need to play better and better and better because they're going to be playing better uh, opposition the longer we are uh, we are in this tournament. We're going to have the bracket come up really quickly. Let's see who we are going to be playing games. We're playing the winners of uh, Cumberland and Drexel. That match is yet to finish. We see Florida take down A&M, so A&M is out of the tournament. And then North Texas and USF also still in the matchup in that first round. Obviously, we had a 3-0, so our games maybe finished just a little bit uh, sooner than others. But we, we sent Downforth home, and we're playing the winner of Cumberland and Drax. So, so we'll just have to wait for that matchup to finish. And then... Uh, We'll, we'll be able to get it right back on uh, on track. Yeah, I mean, exciting games coming up, more series. And like, like you said, they are going to have to play better, which is absolutely huge, especially in these tournaments with these huge teams. And it's looking like, I think Saints are playing the loser of, yeah, be there. Indiana. So Indian River State and you, Ottawa. So whoever loses that game is going to be playing against the Saints. And both of those teams are 
very strong. Very strong. They are a very strong team, so I'm excited to see how the Saints play against them. Yeah, obviously every single team in top bracket is very, very strong. They all belong to be there, and uh, we're going to be playing. Uh, basically, if you know, the more games the Saints win, the more opponents are playing from the top bracket because we are in the loser bracket, unfortunately. So hopefully... Our Saints are on their A game as we know they can compete with these best teams and they surely will. But with that being said, we're going to throw it to a quick break and we'll be right back with the next game as soon as we're ready.
Hello everybody and we are back with the round two of uh, Losers Bracket in the serial open number four. We got Indian River State College going up Saints against St. Clair Saints Green. Our Saints are on the blue side and uh, Indian River State is on the red side. A bit of a uh, mistake there on the graphic but that's alright we'll get that fixed up in just a second and uh, Indian River State College, a very, very strong team and a dangerous opponent for our Saints. And our Saints are going to have to be on top of their game to take this one home. We got Taco Stash, uh, Slayer, and Akimbo here on the side of Indian River State College. That's going to be a dangerous chance there for the Saints. Avesh couldn't get the shot to drop. There's going to be a double demo coming out. Nitrix and Slayer taking each other out. Spoods now going to go for an attack of his own. Gets around one defender, but the defense is there from Taco Stash. Nice clearance by him there, but Nitrous look for a pass there. Off the back, can Vesh find the finish just off the post? Doesn't get it to go there. And uh, with a minute gone, very good chance there for the Saints, but couldn't get it to drop. Now they're going to have to be on the defense here. Maybe a bit of danger coming out from Indian River State College. Can't find too much there. But Talco Stash can go for the 50-50. Vesh playing great defense there. Spoo's going to find a pass over to the middle. But Slayer is there for the clearance, and Nitrix is going to have a bit of a dangerous pass here to the side but the Indian River State College can't find too much to advance off of that and with a minute 30 half it's a very very even game I mean from the beginning we saw already a lot of aggression from <laughs> Indian River State College a lot of demos oh, coming is. out and that is going to make room for Akimbo to score that with Taco Stash giving a really good pass a good 50 from Vesh but it just wasn't enough and then that's just going to be right up for Akimbo. A nice shot, a really good first goal for Indian River State, and a really good start, honestly. This is already very different from the last series. These two teams seemingly have different play styles as well. Spoods rocking the Fennec, which is a little bit of a card change, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. The Fennec is pretty much, I hear it's the same hitbox as the Octave, but it feels very different. So I maybe he'll start playing even better. Maybe we're about to see a new Spooge with this new preset. Or maybe not. Maybe the Saints will just stay exactly the way they are, which is perfectly fine, except for the fact that they do need a goal here to at least even it out against Indian River State. Already a lot of aggression. Akimbo seeing what he can do. Nitrix a really good 50, passing it down to Spoods who's going to go for the clear. A lot of boost in the tank, trying to see what there he can is. do in the air. And he is going to get that goal. Vesh with a beautiful demo as well onto that defender. And that's huge. A very, very good first goal for the Saints. Spoods a little bit of a flip reset, although it wasn't exactly needed, but he got it. And that is huge for the Saints. 1-1, one, one, 2 minutes, 30 seconds. There's lots of time for both teams to score. And I think they're just gonna have to start getting aggressive again. There is no defending because there's no advantage on either team. As I say that though, it's almost in the net of St. Clair, but Spoots is gonna save that out. Bash trying to save it as well. A lot of shots coming out from Indian River State. Slayer with a good shot, Taco Stash with a good shot, but Nitrix there for the save. Spoots trying to clear it out, but just not making it there in time. A really good 50 from Nitrix as well, popping it up to Vesh, who's going to try to go for a pass, but he's just not going to make it. Not going to get the 50 onto Taco Stash. Nitrix gets the flip oh, reset, nice. and wow, honestly, he he gets it. He's Nitrix might be him today. He's been playing so, so well. That flip reset was just beautiful over Akimbo. I think Nitrix just peaks. I think that's exactly what we just watched, and I'm so happy that I got to watch that because that was a beautiful play from him. Saints are up one, a minute 52 seconds. Indian River State are showing a lot of potential in this series. They're a very aggressive team. And Spoods with a very weird touch almost in the net of Indian River State. But Taco Stash is going to be there to save it. A minute and a half left, Indian River State have to score now preferably which is almost what happens but it's just a little wide trying to play aggressively taco stash not really making the 50 best trying to see what he can do but he is going to get 50 out slayer with a good demo onto spoods making the space for indian river state nitrix almost with a shot there but it is going to be cleared out by akimbo vesh trying to see oh, what he nice, can do nice. and he is going to get a really nice touch into the net there Locking in another goal for the Saints. That was beautifully played by him. Just very good shot placement. He just beats out Slayer on the defense oh. there. And Akimo gets the touch, but he isn't going to get the save. 
Yeah, our Saints went down a little bit early, but able to get three goals in a row, showing that they are here to stay. They don't want to get out of this tournament, as whichever team loses this matchup will be out. Our Saints looking very, very strong, but it's going to be a nice attack coming from Indian River State College. With one minute left, they're going to have to put on the pressure to bring this out, but Saints are just going to look to hold on. Maybe find a fourth here. Nightjix with a bit of an unfortunate touch. Didn't get the finish there. Vesh may be going to find a nice little pass off there. Is anyone going to be there to follow it up? There's going to be Spoods with a shot on target and very, very simple for the side of the Saints. In River State College just seem like they have no idea what to do against this attacking onslaught. And Saints take a 4-1 lead. Probably going to be taking this game one with all the momentum on their side, scoring four unanswered. 45 seconds left. Maybe Indian River State College can get one consolation goal. Maybe be happier with themselves, but they surely won't be happy with how this game is going so far. 35 seconds left. Maybe a goal coming out here from Taco Stash, but no spoods is there to clear it out. And there's going to be an, a, one final attack probably here from Indian River State College. They're going to give it their all here. Maybe find a goal for themselves. There's going to be a pass going over to Akimbo. Shots off target. Slayer is going to be there on the follow-up, though. Can he find anything there? It's going to go up to Akimbo and going to try and maybe put one in. It's a great save coming out from Swoos, however. And with 10 seconds left, Saints will surely be taking this game one. Maybe one last goal to finish it out. Nitrix gets a shot on target, but it's saved out by Slayer. And as soon as this ball touches the ground, that will be the game. Saints very, very, with a very, very strong start to the series. Imagine to take a 4-1, showing off great team play, some crazy, crazy goals coming out from them. And the side of Indian River State College, after that first goal, just seemed like they had no idea what to do. So our Saints had a very, very good game plan there. Yeah, it looked really good for Indiana. But, <laughs> like, I don't know what happened. They They scored, and then maybe they just got a little too comfortable and then Saints just I don't know they just locked in proceeded to score again and then get three more all unanswered that's I honestly don't know what happened like sometimes things change you make a little mistake sometimes your mental changes but that game it looked really good but St. Clair just brought it back for themselves and that's really good for them yeah, as you said, it was just like something switched after that first goal. Saints, I think, just don't want to lose. They know they can go so far into this tournament, and they're going to look to do so. In game two here, we're getting started. Able to take that first game lead. It is best of fives, and yes, the loser is at the tournament. Both teams playing for their lives here. There's not going to be too much kickoff drama to start off game two, but there's going to be a demo right there by Taco Stars. Taking out Spoos, Nitrix though on the defense. Going to be able to clear it out over to Vash. Going to pass it back to Nitrix in the corner. Can he find yet another pass over here into the middle? He will, but Taco Stash is there for the clear. Slayer takes out Vash, and Taco Stash going to be on the attack here. Doesn't get that boost, though Spoos steals it away. He's going to be able to take the possession here. Can they find the clearance? Going to be Slayer flying in through the air there, but won't find too much. And it's great defense from the side of the Saints so far. Taco Stash going to just pass it over to Nitrix, basically. Not finding too much with that attack. And it's going to go over him. Vesh now on the attack. Can he find it over Slayer? No, he cannot. It's great defense there coming out from both sides. And a bit of a back and forth to start off the game one minute in. Slayer going to maybe look for a pass towards the middle. No, he won't find too much with that. It's going to be a clearance coming out for Mesh. Takes it on his defender. Him and Spoo is going to play the two-man game. You're taking out yet another defender. Vesh is going to look for the finish, but a bit of a miss there. It's a shot on target, though. Taco Stash forced to save it out. Great shot there by Nitrix with a lot of pace on it. Saints, though. Looking, looking good in this game too. Putting on the aggression, Slayer has to make the save onto Nitrix, and then there's a follow-up coming up there. It's gonna be one more shot here coming in from someone. Nitrix maybe can find a no. It's actually great defense from the side of Indian River State College. That could have been very, very dangerous for the side of the Saints. Now it's a counter attack coming out, and it's gonna be a shot from Taco Stash, but it's off target. Spoo's gonna look to clear it out now, and a minute 30 into this half, uh, no goals yet, but a very, very high action. Honestly, Indian River State, like I said earlier, are playing very aggressively, and this is how they got their first goal last game, just with this pure aggression. But Saints are doing very well at stopping them in their tracks here. Two minutes passing, no goals yet. It's looking pretty good for both teams, honestly. They're very clearly evenly matched here. Nitrix with a really good save from Akimbo there, trying to see what he can do, trying to clear it out, try to make space for his team to get these goals. Vesh with a really, really big clear, a huge boom down the field, but Nitrix is sadly going to get demoed there. 
and Vesh is going to lose his partner for the shot. Spoots is going to end up going up, though, trying to get that goal, but he's just not going to get it. Akimbo with really good ball control there until he slips up a little bit. Vesh with the clear. Nitrix trying to clear it out. Spoots almost getting there, but Slayer is just going to beat him out just by an inch. Nitrix with a big, big clear downfield, trying to pass it to Spoods with a big pinch, honestly. It's back on the Saints' side. Oh, it's danger. That is very dangerous, but Nitrix with a very good save on Slayer's shot. Spoods flicking it over Taco Stash very well. Almost gets really good ball control to carry it into the net, but just doesn't make it. Akimbo, not a lot of boost in the tank, trying to find a teammate. He's just not going to find him. Vesh with a really, really big clear. Slayer with a pretty easy save. That shot was very slow. And I don't think it was a shot on goal. It was just a clear. So a pretty easy save for Slayer there. Spoots trying to clear it out. So much aggression coming from Indian River State. So much happening. So many bumps. They're going to start running out of boost soon. Akimbo trying to 50 these oh, players. Spoots with a very, very good save all alone in the net. He had to get that, and he did carrying it onto the side of Indian River State oh College. My goodness. He is going to get the goal too. With not only an amazing save, he's going to carry it all the way down the field and get a beautiful shot onto the net past these two defenders and he absolutely scores that. That's great individual play there by Spoots. Finds the save, goes, goes all the way up of the field by himself <laughs> and manages to find the finish. And the Saints are going to be very happy with how this game's going so far. They're up 1-0. Yes, there's a lot of pressure coming out from both teams, it feels like, but Saints able to find that goal with the defense they've been playing. It's not going to be easy for Indian River State College to find a goal back here. And they've been struggling for these three minutes and a half so far can't find anything to go their way saints just playing great defense one more goal for the saints and surely that will be all they need for the insurance on this game besh gonna look for an attack of his own all three defenders are back for the side of indian river state college so not gonna be able to find anything too easily spoods then just pass it up the field the longer they can keep it on the side of indian river state college the better for the saints but here's gonna be a counter attack akimbo it's gonna find a pass over to taco stash and it's a great shot from him able to fake out nitrix with a nice little flip reset there and gets the goal just like that makes it one one game let's see yet again taco stash passes it to himself and takes it right around nitrix beautiful offense there nice try from nitrix but couldn't get the save there and just like that indian river state college are right back in it it is very tough to save those two. We saw Nitrix try to pre-jump that, but he just couldn't predict the flick over him. It happens. We all make little mistakes. It's pretty impossible to expect that to happen, honestly. With 40 seconds, 35 seconds left, Indian River State is playing very well, and they that goal was huge for them, and I honestly think it gave them really good momentum. It really showed their mechanical oh. skill. Nitrix, though, with a big pinch toward the net, but just doesn't make it. 20 seconds on the clock. One of these teams has to score here. Vesh trying to clear it out to Spoots, who's going to boom it to the other side of Indian River State College. With a shot on net, it is going to be saved. Oh. Akimbo with a little bit of a miss there. Spoots. Saints could have capitalized off of it, but they oh. just don't make it. Nitrix almost with a touch, but it is going to be saved out. Wait. Vesh trying to get this last goal, oh, but it is just so a close. little wide and just doesn't make it in. We're in overtime. Once again, there's so many overtimes. Oh, Nitrix off the kickoff, going to be looking for a goal there. And as you said, so much going on. We're heading into the overtime. It is 1-1, one, one. very, very close. It's going to be a demo there from Nitrix, but it's going to be a clearance coming out from Indian River State College. So it's going to be a nice shot on target there by Vesh, but not enough power on it. Akimbo able to find the save. Now it's going to be a bit of a counterattack for the side of Indian River State College. Spoods, though, playing great defense. The ball's in a bit of a dangerous area. Akimbo gets the demo, but Spoods is going to be here to close it out. He has no boost, though, so it's going to be a bit dangerous from him, but nice touch there. And Vesh going to look for the attack here, maybe. Can he get a bump from a teammate there? It's a nice, great fake there from Vesh. And in under 40 seconds, gets the 1-on-1 -on -one goal to give the Saints a 2-0 lead in this series. Absolutely massive for the Saints. So unfortunate for Akimbo, just gets bumped and manages to touch it, almost gets the save, but Vesh is there to pre-jump it and just make sure he gets that into the net. Very good for the Saints. They are playing very, very well throughout the whole loser's bracket, but there have been so many overtimes, even in their previous series. I feel like we're seeing a lot of that with these teams because they're so evenly matched that they have to go into OT to really see who's going to get the game. It's very, very close. Both these teams are very, very skilled. 
other than the first game, I think it was a lot closer this game for both teams. And yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It was a good game. We saw a couple of just really good solo goals, one from Spoos and one from Vester at the end. So Saints making those individual plays to win the game. Very, very well done by them. They played good defense for the entire game. Yes, they did allow one goal over there, but one little mistake. It is what it is. It happens. If they can keep up the high level of gameplay that they have been showing so far, they're going to make it pretty pretty far into this tournament, and I can't, can't wait for it. I'm excited for it. I completely agree. Honestly, it's just been so exciting to watch the team warm up, I guess, like early on when they started. They started off a little bit slow, but they've really picked up momentum and carried it to next game after next game and just carried it along. You can see the confidence. You can see that they want to win. And with their passing plays, even just solo plays, like we talked about, all of these players are so, so talented and they're really showing us. Yeah, they are indeed. As it's gonna be game three coming up here. Let's see what we can get started. It's a shot on target from Slayer, but it's saved out from the side of the Saints. Bit of a more aggressive start here for Indian University College, able to get right into this half of St. Clair, but not too much gonna happen there. Taco Stash gonna find a pretty simple clearance there. And Nitrix gonna go for a nice little ball there. Can he find any of his teammates with it? No, he cannot. Slayer can have control of it. Akimbo is gonna clear it out. And a pretty slow start here to game three. Yes, Indian River State College are fighting for their lives. You're one more loss and they are out of the tournament. It would be unfortunate for them to go from winner's bracket to out the tournament in just two games. But our Saints looking so strong in his loser's bracket, looking for all the upsets. And uh, they're looking to get it done here. It's going to be a Kimbo going for the attack here. But Saints are just playing very, very good defense so far, though. They have been this whole series, but that is a crucial mistake by Spoods. Kind of just gives it to Akimbo right in front of his net. And that's just a gift that uh, Indian River State College is going to take. Christmas came early, they're going to think, and very well done by them. Able to take a quick 1-0 lead. That is a very unfortunate touch from Spoods as well. I believe he was trying to pass it to Nitrix there because he was there. He just didn't realize that Akimbo was so, so close and had that momentum to score it. It's tough. It is, it is a tough touch but Spooch just needs to shake it off and continue to play you can't let these things get to you you just have to keep going there's lots of time for Saints to respond with a goal and if they can't they're up 2-0 in this series so like we said last series yeah. they do have time and the ability to make these mistakes but either way you don't want to and Spooch is trying to get a shot on net there but just doesn't make it Kimbo with a big, big clear, trying to clear it out. But Nitrix is going to be there to keep it on his end. Taco Stash trying to see what he can do. Gets the save from Vesh, which is just a little wide, that shot. Nitrix with good control, passing it over to Vesh. Spoods is playing pretty close up. The team is looking like they are triple committing this. As I say that, though, Vesh is going to rotate back, and Spoods is going to sadly get demoed, so he doesn't even need to worry about rotating because he has just spawned back on his end. So much is happening, so much aggression, so many bumps, a lot of demos coming out from oh. Indian River State College, and they are making the space for these goals. A very nice shot from, from Akimbo and an even nicer pass for Rum Slayer there. Just perfectly set up. Vesh just couldn't make it for that save. And it's seeming like that's exactly how it's going in these games. Someone is almost there for that save. They are just a millimeter away. Yeah, and all it takes is one mistake for another team to just get rolling. Indian River State College able to get that first goal. Now that second goal up the momentum, just able to get so much going. They've been on the attack here, and Saints just haven't found an answer in this game in particular. But here it is, Spoods going around two defenders. Nice is going to find a nice little pass towards the middle there, but Akimbo is going to win that 50-50. Vesh going to be here as well, but it's going to be still going towards the side of the Saints goal. And down two goals halfway through the game. That is not what they want to see. Let's see if Vesh can get an attack going for them. He's so lethal in the air here. Can he find anything? Akimbo is there on the save. Well done by him. And Indian River State College seem way more composed in this game three. They're up 2-0 and they're still playing very, very solid rock league. They're not making many mistakes. So well done by them. Talco Stash going to look for a finish of his own. But there is Spoots to clear it out. And uh, two minutes left. Saints need to get something desperately to bring this game back. It is definitely time for the Saints to do something. As I say that, Spoots is going to try to get control, but he just doesn't have enough boost. 
it's seeming like there's always a Saint with just no boost. As we can see on the screen, we can see all the players boost and there's always somebody who's just a little too low and they just can't make these plays. I don't know, Indian River State is doing very well at starving them of this boost because they just can't get there in time. Saints need to score now. A oh, minute and is. a half left though. There is an opening. Nitrix takes the shot, but Slayer is there to save it. Saints were so, so close there, but they just didn't make it. Lots of demos coming out. Taco Stash trying to get a shot on net, but Spooz with a really, really nice save. Trying to carry that out to a clear, but he is going to 50 it with Akimbo. Vesh is going to take that ball at mid with a really nice flick. Trying to hand it oh, over to Nitrix, save. but it's just going to be saved out by Taco Stash. Very, very good defense from Indian River State. Very, very strong, very aggressive plays. And the Saints, I, I wouldn't say they're panicking, but they might just be a little bit scared in this game after the mistakes that they've made. 50 seconds left, they have to score twice here, oh, even to bring it into target. overtime. And it is just a little wide with the shot from Akimbo, but it's constantly on the Saints side. They just can't seem to clear it out for a long period of time. Oh, As I say that, those oh. boots with a really nice clear and a pass to Vesh, but Akimbo is gonna be there for the save. The defense is oh, so, is. so strong There's from one. Indian River State, but as I say that, Vesh is going to pass it to Nitrix, and Nitrix is just going to put that in the net. 34 seconds left. Saints have time to score this. They just need to work a little harder, get these passing plays, really just try to break the ankles of Indian River State because they are on their A game this game. It is very, very good Rocket League all around. Saints just need to get this goal play a little more aggressively, figure out what they can do to fix their performance. But with 20 seconds left, Taco Stash is going to try to stop that from happening as he keeps it on the Saints end. Nitrix, though, trying to go for a big clear to mid. Over to Vesh. Vesh is going to try to flick it over the defender, but he's just not going to make it. Taco Stash with a really, really Oh, good, there's a bump. Oh, my God, a big bump onto the defender there. So many shots coming out. That was exactly what the Saints needed, but they just Have couldn't time. make it. It was just a little bit too wide. Vesh, though, oh. trying to get that goal, but just doesn't make it as it is going to be saved out. A very different game from Indian River State. A very good game from them. They all played very, very well, but the Saints just didn't have it at the end there. They were so, so close. All of them were up. They almost had it, but it was just not enough. Yeah, Indian River State College played a very, very solid game. You know, they got lucky that they got a first goal, a bit of a misplay there from the side of the Saints. So it was still a 2-1 game. It was well done by them. They did play, I think, the best defensive game so far of the series on their side. So uh, well done by them to bring the series back to 2-1. But Saints, I think they're, they're looking pretty strong and they're going to be able to take this game four. Just need to take away those tiny tiny mistakes and I think they they have been playing better so far in the series but let's see what they can get done in game four as we said time and time again loser is out of the tournament winner continues their run through the losers bracket Saints gonna look off look to get off to a hot start here in game four but it is Taco Stash on the attack early gonna look for something that's gonna be saved out by Spoods and it's gonna be the first goal is gonna be so so important in this game as the first goal the team has scored has Proven crucial time and time again. There's going to be a bit of a miss from Taco Stash, but Akimbo flies in from nowhere. And just like I was saying, the first goal is going to be crucial for either team here. Indian uh, River State College, just like that, off the start, gets a nice little pass there from Akimbo and a finish coming out from uh, Slayer, I believe. Yeah, <laughs> Indian that, River yeah. State College, just like that, take a 1 0 lead. And I mean, that I can't tell if that was a tactical fake. I don't from, think so. From Taco Stash. I, me personally, I would call it a tactical fake if I did that. But <laughs> either way, it was still there to be scored by Slayer. Very good just to have that extra player up there, just to be there for that goal in case there's a miss. It's still a oh. pass. Nitrix with the shot there, but Slayer is going to be there to save it out. Lots of demos again, a minute in. Indian River State are looking so good in this game. That momentum is huge. Like you said, the first goal is crucial for these teams. Whoever gets it, they can really carry that momentum into the rest of the game, try to figure out what else they can do. Akimba with a lot of boost and a lot of time is gonna try to clear it out and win the 50, brings it into the Saints corner, passes it up to Taco Stash who gets a flip reset but isn't able to slot that into the net. It is gonna be cleared out. Nitrix in the net. Spoots is there to save him because Nitrix was a little awkward. Oh. And speaking of a little awkward, two defenders there just couldn't save out Slayer's shot. Spoots tried his best to get that clear, but he just didn't get the second touch. 
Nitrix there with the pre-jump, but just doesn't make it. Saints, zero goals, Indian River State two. Saints need to respond here. They need to get at least one goal to give them a little bit of momentum to carry through because they are making these tiny mistakes, but the mistakes only get bigger as you continue to make them with less time, oh, more games running there. out. Vesh, as I say that though, with a really good shot, a nice path from Nitrix. This is exactly what the Saints need. Spooge with a bump as well onto Slayer there, and he just doesn't make it. A very, very nice play from Saints. They just need to keep doing that. They need to focus up a little bit more, I think. Yeah, a very important goal from the Saints to stop the momentum from just running away from them. Making this a 2-1 game still very, very winnable. Only down one goal now, but Indian River State College are up 2-1. They're looking for the reverse sweep. Our Saints don't want to let that happen for sure. Slayer going to look for an attack of his own here. Does find the bump onto Nitrix, but the clearance does come out. Vesh going to have control now. Take it over one defender. Can he find it around the second? No, I can move. Great defense there. Spoods, though, is going to be on the attack himself. Gets a nice touch there. Slayer gets to save. Vesh almost got the shot, but just wasn't there in time. It was coming in very, very hot. All four members seem to be here. And that's a great pass over to Vesh. And just like that, Saints, in less than one minute, able to tie this game up. Now they they have the momentum on their side and very, very well played by them. Vesh there in the middle. Great team play coming out from there with the passing. And it's a 2-2 game. It's basically starting off fresh. We're halfway through the game. Let's see what happens off kickoff here. There's going to be a demo coming out, but Slayer can't find the touch. Spoos with a very, very crucial offensive play, it feels like, there to stop the counter attack. But Taco Stash going to be here. Can he find anything? It's going to be a pass back to Slayer. Spoos should be here to clear it out, and he is. He's going to be able to make a lot of space here for the Saints. Great defense there by Kimbo, though, by Nitrix. It's going to find a nice little pass over to nobody. Kind of a bit of a mistake there. That's going to be a counter attack coming out from the side of River Indian River State College, but not going to be able to find much. There's a great save coming out there from Spoods, a crucial one at that. And there's going to be a nice little pass up the field, kind of like ping pong now. <laughs> As we've said a couple of times this year, a bit more of team play a bit earlier into this game, but now that it's 2 2. Both teams playing with maybe a bit more stress, a bit more nerves on the line and uh, struggling to make some good team play happen, but nobody's able to score. It's just going back and forth, back and forth. There's a pass in front of the net. Can Taco Stash find the finish? No Spoods with great defense. Can he maybe find a goal of his own? Just taking on the whole team by himself and yet again Spoods single-handedly going from defense to offense and finishing it off on the other hand playing out of his mind today for these past few games and well played by him a beautiful goal there off the back that was very very good the double touch was so so important that honestly the solo plays from some of these saints are very very impressive although not needed we need to see a little more passing because oh, no. these hero plays can't save the game as I say that, Taco Stash is going to get a big goal and tie it so up simple. again. It's very unfortunate for the Saints there. It's just, I, I think, a bit of a mistouch from Vesh there yeah. and just passing it to another player who passes it to his teammate. A big thing is these passing plays from Indian River State. They are always there with another player to slot that in the net. As I say that, those boots almost with the shot, but Taco Stash is going to be there to save it out. 3-3, a minute 25 seconds. Spoods tries to take the shot, but it just is a little wide. The Saints scrambling back to their end, trying not to let Indian River State get another goal in this game. This is so, so important to Saints. They kind of need this, honestly, because if you lose the next game, then you worry about being reverse swept, which is yeah. not a good thing to have on your mind at all. So Saints need to focus up now really solidify this game and get the series for themselves so they don't have to worry about that extra game. But with 55 seconds, it's a little scary. Yeah, it's looking scary for both teams now. As you said, 50 seconds. Probably next goal is going to be the, the one to close it out. Spoo's going to find something on this stack. Can he do anything yet again? Not be able to find too much Slayer. Takes out Vesh. It's going to be a very, very dangerous counterattack here for the sign of Indian River State College. But Nitrix with cru some, some crucial defense, able to get it all the way up the field. And with 30 seconds left, surely it's going to be the next goal to win. Can Taco Stash find anything on this attack? It's going to be a shot right above the net. Going to be able to pass it back to a teammate, but it's great defense from the side of the Saints. Able to clear it out. It's a shot on target. Very, very easy for save for Vesh. 
20 seconds left. There's going to be maybe one more opportunity for either team. There's going to be a big contest win by Vesh, but Nitrix does get blown up, and Saints need to get back on defense here. Spoods with a very, very crucial touch, but Akimbo is going to look for a nice little touch there with seven seconds left. Nitrix will be on the defense, though, and with five seconds left, looking very, very likely that this one's going overtime. As soon as it touches down, it is going to be going there, but it can the Saints find anything on this attack right above the net there? Can they find anything? Ball is still up in the air, but it will drop. And just like that, we are going to overtime yet again in game four. That was very close for the Saints, though. They That aggression was really, really important for them. I think they just needed it a little earlier in overtime. It's not the best place to be. It's a lot more stressful, especially for a team like Indian River State, because this is their last chance. This game, they have to win. It's so, so important for both teams to win this series. I know both of them must want it very, very badly. 3-3, three, three, both these teams are so evenly matched, honestly. They're pretty much the same. And I think they're adjusting to each other's play styles very, very well. As I say that, Vesh, a really nice save from Akimbo's shot trying to clear it out, but Taco Stash is going to be there to bring it back to the Saints and Akimbo stopping a clear as well. Lots of boost in the tank. He's going to get the flip reset over the defender there. Not enough boost to follow it up though. Spooch trying to clear it out is going to get that 50. A nice touch from Vesh trying to get it back onto the side of Indian River State and it is just a lot of back and forth. Honestly, we say ping pong a lot because that's pretty much what Rocket League is. It's just side to side. Wherever the ball goes, the teams just want it on the other side, and that's exactly what's happening this game. Spoods oh, with a really good opportunity, but just isn't going to make it. Vesh trying to stop this shot from coming out. Spoods, lots of boost in the tank. He's going to try to crown ball pinch it, and he does find it, actually. But it is just going to go into a defender from Indian River State. Spoods, really good ball control. Gets the flip reset, almost carries it into the net with the demo onto Akimbo, but Taco Stash is going to be there to save it. Vesh oh, trying is. to pass it to Nitrix, and he manages to get it. Nitrix, a very, very good shot, perfectly placed. Huge goal for the Saints. Absolutely wonderful. They played that so well. Yeah, played it very, very well and able to take the series 3-1. Our Saints are going to move on. Indian River State College are out of the tournament. The Saints continue their lower bracket run, playing absolutely amazingly, only dropping one round in the first six that we've seen so far and uh, winning basically, I think, every single overtime we've seen so far. I think that might I be correct, so. honestly. Yeah, I mean, Indian River State played so good. They're very clearly a very strong team and kudos to them because they played so, so well. There have just been tiny little mistakes on both ends that each team has capitalized off of. And in that overtime, it was just the Saints. It really could have gone either way, though. Yeah, it could have gone either way. Congratulations to our Saints for moving on, uh, continuing their run, playing very, very well. Hopefully they can continue that play for the rest of the tournament. I think they can go very, very far in this tournament if they do. If we could get the bracket maybe in a second, get it pulled up and see who we're going, going to be going up against in this next matchup. We took down Indian River State College and we are going to be playing the winner of GVSU Blue or Drexel Dragons. I've heard the name GVSU Blue before. A very, very strong team, I believe. And Drexel taking it 3-2 in the first series. Going to look to take it down here. If we do win the next matchup, we will be playing against the Indiana Hoosers in the losers' quarters. So another very, very tough matchup. As we, we predicted in this lower bracket, every single game is going to be hard. There are no easy matches, but our Saints are playing very, very well. And I think they can compete with the best of the day, of the best. The best of the best on today on this day. Absolutely. I completely agree. I mean, Saints are doing very, very well at playing against these strong teams. Even though they are making tiny little mistakes that we don't love to see, there are accidental passes to the other team, just little misses that they just need to fix up a little bit. Yeah. The bracket just updated as uh, we see Drexel takes down GVSU Blue with a 3-1 performance. So Drexel, 3-2, 3-1, looking very, very strong in this lower bracket. And our Saints are going to have to play their absolute best to take this one. It's not going to be easy. And uh, the winner of this, as we said already, will be taking on Indiana Hoosers, who are known to be a to be a very, very strong team. The drop to King University as in the winner's bracket, we got U Ottawa and King's University making pretty good work of everyone else in here. 3-1 between Algonquin and U Ottawa and uh, Indiana taking it, uh, losing 3-1 to King University. So a lot of exciting matchup. We also got North Texas and Florida State University in the losers round three. Uh, 
before the quarterfinals. So a lot of exciting matchups and a lot of hard teams left in this tournament. Yeah, I mean, so much potential from all of these teams. I'm super excited, honestly, to see St. Clair play against Drexel. And if they win that, playing against Indiana is... These are two very strong teams yeah. that the Saints are going to have to play against. They're going to have to work really, really hard to beat Drexel Dragons. And then on top of that, if they do that, it's not over and they have to beat Indiana as well. Over. These are very, very strong teams. The Saints are able to win. They just have to play their best and just show us that they can play as a team, get these passing plays up. Our, it's just so important. We can't constantly have hero plays from one player on the team, which is seemingly what's happening a lot. It's yeah. a lot of solo plays from players on the team, not only passing plays, but like it's very important to just play all together. And that seems to be where they might be messing up a little bit, whether it's communication problems, but the passing plays just aren't, getting where they need to be. And I think that might be their main issue. So hopefully against Drexel Dragons, they can fix that up a little. Yeah, I agree completely. We just need to see a bit more team play coming out from the Saints and uh, cut down on the mistakes. You know, they are some of the best players here uh, in the whole tournament. And uh, those tiny mistakes against the best teams will be the difference without a doubt between a win and a loss. And every single team at the highest level will take advantage of the tiniest mistakes, so Saints need to clean up just a little bit, just communicate a little bit better, get some better touches in those crucial situations. But with all that being said, we're going to throw it to a very, very quick break, and we'll be right back against this matchup. Oh, never mind, we don't need the break. They're about to start <laughs> from what we heard. So we don't need the break. We're going to get straight into the matchup from between St. Clair and Drexel, and uh, it's going to be an exciting game. Yeah, I didn't expect it to happen so quickly, but, I mean, more Rocket League is always so fun and so exciting. I'm really excited to just jump right into the next game and see how the Saints play. I don't know if they're nervous. I really wonder what's going on in their heads right now. I'm sure they're pretty calm. They're all pretty level-headed players usually, except for when they make these tiny little mistakes. They like to carry that on a little bit and not find that momentum with bigger plays. So these tiny mistakes that they do make, if they make them, they just need to shake it off and play better afterwards. That being said, the game is going to start. Game one, best of five. Vesh. Already a huge start from Vesh. Five seconds and Vesh is going to score with a pass from Nitrix, I guess. Very, very fast start, and this is huge for the Saints. They have to feel good here. This is a very, very good start, but there is lots of time for this game to go Absolutely. a different way. It just started already with a goal. We, I'm just so excited. It's so exciting to have a goal five seconds in. The Saints have to feel good off of that, and they really need to carry it on through the rest of the game against Drexel Dragons. Absolutely. As we said, Drexel, a very, very strong team. Getting off to a very good start in this tournament, winning 3-2 and 3-1. But not getting off to a good start in this game as Vesh trying to go in the first five seconds. Now it's going to be Baron on the attack here, looking for something with Spoods. Being that defensive defensive player for the side of the Saints, needs to play at the top of his game to take down Drexel here, being a strong team. There's going to be Baron going for something. Zerf maybe can find something by Nitrix is there on the defense. Baron, though, finds a very... Interesting touch there, and it's going to be cleared away from the side of the Saints. A good attack going for them, maybe here. It's going to be a dangerous pass by Vesh. And is anyone there to follow up? Oh, Spoots was flying in, but it was passed out by the defenders of Drexel. Kevin takes out Nitrix, and Vesh has to make the save, but there's Zerf flying in. It's going to be in a dangerous position for the Saints. Can Spoots find the clearance? Yes, he does. Can anyone from Drexel find the finish? No, Vesh could get the clearance here. A bit of a miss there from one of the Drexel players, and Vesh is going to look for the 1v1. He's very dangerous in these situations, but it's going to get stayed down by Zerf. Nitrix with a huge miss there, but Spoots should be able to clear this out. Those are the mistakes we're talking about. Can't be missing those, but luckily Saints get away with one there. Now Vesh on the counter. Going to go 1v2. Pass over to Nitrix. Can Nitrix find the finish it's a shot right above the net is anyone gonna be there to follow up yes Spoods was there but it was great defense from the side of Drexel and there's just so much action right now Spoods gonna look for a shot of his own Nitro's gonna look for the follow-up can he find a pass towards any of his teammates here doesn't look like it not much boost left for anyone on the stage only Vesh has boost left it's gonna be cleared out here and Saints don't manage to score on that huge attack. Drexel managed to hold off the opposition. But with that being said, just like that, with <laughs> one demo, Saints are able to get the finish and take a quick 2-0 lead in this best of five. That was a very huge demo as well. Nitrix, that was Nitrix's goal, honestly. Vesh kind of just 
grabbed it and said it's mine now. But Nitrix, either way, got the assist. That was the shot on net from him, even though Vesh took the goal itself. That was very good for the Saints. These little slip-ups that are happening, they're honestly Nitrix. doing better at being able to capitalize off of just doing a little a little bit better, finding the tiniest bit of momentum after these mistakes, not letting it get to you. And 0-2 for the Saints, 2 minutes 40 seconds. I've noticed that Drexel plays very, very aggressive. They're getting a lot of bumps onto these Saints players, oh, but they're just goal. not finding a goal. As I say that though, Baron with a pass and Zerf with a very good redirect into the net there. I'm not exactly sure what happened. Ah, Vesh just missed a little bit off the wall. He just couldn't predict it exactly. And Drexel is 100% gonna score that. It absolutely is just gonna happen. One, two, Saints are still up one, but this is not a comfortable lead for them. Drexel has so much time to score here, play more aggressively. So Saints really just still need to focus. You can't let a one goal lead stop you from being focused. Some players get a little too comfortable with that lead, but Saints just need to hold on to it as best they can. Absolutely, I agree with you. 100% can get too comfortable with your lead. And it only being a one goal against a dangerous team like Drexel Saints are not feeling the best right now, but they are still ahead and they need to remember that. They need to remember that they don't need to go for these risky 50-50s if they can just have the secure 100-0, just clear it out, get it out of here with two minutes left. They're going to look to hold on to this lead, but Drexel are coming with full forces. There's a nice clearance by Vesh. And is that on target? Yes, it is. From his own box, it seems like. Just gets the full court shot. And the Saints are going to be very, very happy with that finish. They're going to... That's just like a, a free candy, basically. A free goal. And... <laughs> <laughs> They're super excited about that one. Drexel are gonna be mentally unhappy about that one. Those uh, are, yeah. That's just a goal you don't want to allow in. That is tough. I mean, I'm sensing a little bit of luck though on the side of I the mean, Saints. Yeah. That was really just meant to be a clear and it just happened to make it into those. that top corner. We do take those, in <laughs> fact. I don't know where the defender was for Drexel there. I think they overcommitted just a little too much. I guess you don't expect that huge clear to come out and for it to be a shot on target. So you do leave the net a little bit open and Saints absolutely capitalized off of that. Spoods, really good ball control in the middle there. A minute, 10 seconds left with a two goal lead for the Saints. They don't need to play aggressively, as you said. Their goals are not important. They just need to defend their net. Try not to let Drexel get two more. With a minute left, it's not impossible for Drexel to score, but it is a little more comfortable for the Saints as this timer runs out. Vesh trying to go for a shot there, but Baron is going to clear it out. Saints very good at keeping it on Drexel's side this game. As I say that, though, it is going to be cleared out by Zerf with a bump as well, but the defender is there to clear it. Vesh getting demoed, sadly, by Zerf. I saw that. He was on him that whole time. So much aggression coming up from Drexel, trying to clear out these Saints for these goals. Nitrix with a really good shot, but Zerf is going to be there to clear it out. Very good ball control as well. Spoods is going to clear it back onto Drexel's end here. They have to score. Drexel absolutely has to score with 15 seconds. There's That's just over. a lot of back and forth, but it is looking very over for Drexel this game at least. Oh. Drexel is showing a lot of potential though. Spoods as well with almost a shot on net there. Very nice touch. But either way, this first game is going to the Saints. And yeah, Drexel is a good team. They are playing well. They are playing very, very aggressively. And I think that might be part of their issue because they are leaving space open for the Saints. We saw that clear from Vesh. It was an open net. The defender just wasn't back. So maybe they just need to back up a little bit, play a little less aggressively, and we'll see how game two goes. Yeah, Vesh getting three goals, scoring all three for the Saints there. So very well played by him. And as you said, Drexel just weren't there defensively at times. They needed to. Saints scored those goals. I feel like they played just a bit more defensively because they were able to. They had the lead. And when they do have the lead, they are so clinical on the defense. They don't allow any opportunities. It's going to be a dangerous start here from the side of Drexel in game two. Yet again, I'll mention it and I'll mention it every game. The loser of the series is knocked out. We are in the loser's bracket. So these games just mean so and so much more. There's going to be a full shot coming out from the side of Drexel, but great defense by the Saints there. Now Spoo's going to look to start the attack 
for the Saints here. Takes it over one defender. Can he take it off the back? Yes, he does. Is it? They're going to be able to follow up. No, there won't be. A very nice try there from the Saints, but it's still not done. Besh going to take it over his defender as well, but there's going to be nobody there on the follow up. Saints playing with a lot of aggression to start off game two here, but just cannot find the finish as Drexel get the clearance and are going to have an attack of their own. Ken Zerf taking around his defender. Looks to do it, but Besh is very, very composed. Takes his time and gets the clearance to go. Baron is going to be there though. Nitrix gets a crucial touch there. Zerf though, going to try and take it on Spoods. Spoods takes a big touch there, but it's going to be a shot on target. Vesh with a great save there. Both defenders were in the net for that. So Saints are upping their defense. They're making sure they're back at all times as Baron takes out Nitrix. Is going to be able to slow down the counter attack of the Saints there. There's a shot on target though. And as I was complimenting them, maybe a bit of a caster curse there. <laughs> finding a very nice backflip there to find the finish and uh, give Drexel a 1-0 lead. They haven't had a lead yet in the series, so I wonder how they're going to play now that they do. Yeah, that one goal lead is is very important to have as a team. And I mean, Zerf with a very, very impactful touch. If he wouldn't have had that touch, it would not have gone in the Saints net. Like we talked about countless times, the aggression is just almost overwhelming at times. Saints seem to be playing a little more aggressive in response to that. I guess the way to battle it is just with more aggression. Everybody is just very eager right now to make space for their team, try to get a goal. Three and a half minutes, Saints have to score at least one here to tie it up. As I say that though, Kevin is gonna clear it onto the Saints and Spoods with quite a bit of boost in the tank. He's gonna see what he can do. Almost beats out that 50. He's just gonna drop to mid for Nitrix oh, there. Nice. Nitrix with a very nice shot over the defender as well. Beautiful placement. I honestly, he played that very, very well. Just right oh. over the defender into the net. Very well played by Nitrix. A beautiful shot and exactly what the Saints needed this game. Three minutes and 10 seconds left. It can really go either way for both these teams. Yeah, huge goal there by Nitrix. Gets the 1v1 against the defender. Able to take it around him. And it's going to give the Saints a tie in this game. Now we're going to see the game plan switch yet again. That's going to be a dangerous pass from Spoos there, but couldn't find the finish, Vesh. And now it's going to be a dangerous chance by Zerf. And just like that, on the counterattack, able to just bullet one in from the air. Let's see what happened yet again. Zerf just hits it on target. Nobody from the Saints is even close to defend it. And it's just great play there from Drexel. Able to take the lead right after losing it. Saints, after working so hard for that first goal, think they're going to have to work even harder for the second one. But as I say that, right off kickoff, they have a bit of a dangerous opportunity. Zerf is going to be there to clear it out. And Saints can't find anything right away. They do need the second goal. Nitro is going to find a demo onto Baron. But I think we've seen Drexel pick up their level of play a little bit. They're playing it with a bit more aggression, finding these nice shots from far out and getting them to drop. Kevin with a shot on target, easy save for Spood. It wasn't the quickest shot there. Baron going to go for a 50-50 here. Is not able to get it, but his teammate Zerf is going to find it. There's going to be another shot on target there by Nitrix. Should be able to clear it out pretty easily. Zerf and Baron on this left side. All three members from Drexel on this left corner. Maybe Saints can find an advantage somewhere else on the field since all the players are there. But no, the ball is just going to get bounced around. Nitrix is going to look for a pass to a teammate here. Is anyone going to be there? Yes, Kevin's going to be the one to go up in the end there. But Vesh is going to counter around the air though. However, Baron gets booped away there. It's a very nice bump there. Coming out from Nitrix, Zerf on the attack here. It's in a dangerous spot, but nobody's there to follow it up. And with a minute 50 left, Drexel are the ones on the aggression, looking for their third goal. And just like that, Baron's going to fly in there with the assist from Kevin. And this is looking very dire for Saints now. They've been on the defense this whole time, down a goal. Beautiful team play there, finding the finish. And Saints are going to need to pull out something desperate to bring themselves back into this game. Absolutely, I agree. This this game is almost completely opposite of the first game. Drexel up two with a minute 40 seconds left. It's not all loss for the Saints, Spoots. but it's seeming as though the Saints might be getting a little too oh, aggressive. As I say that though, Besh is going to be there with the shot. Spoods with the shot as well, but it did get saved out and passed all the way over to Vesh, who is going to find that double touch and get that into the net. So, so important, huge for the Saints. But as I was saying earlier, I think they might be getting a little too aggressive. As we saw last game with Drexel, they left an open net, and it's seeming like the Saints have done that as well this yeah. game. So they've almost switched up play styles completely, and it's very different from the first game, and that's really exciting, honestly. I'm honestly just on my toes here. I, I, don't, I don't know what's gonna happen next. They're so different. 
Yeah, a lot of crazy, crazy action going on, but that's what we love to see as it's going to be a pass from Vesh over to Nitrix. Kevin with an absolutely massive save there. One minute left. Every single play is going to be crucial here. Coming down the stretch, there's going to be a shot on target by Zeph, but it's going to be saved out by Vesh. And Zeph is going to be there in the corner again. Misses it though, but Spoots is going to be able to start the counter attacking for the Saints. As two defenders fly by, three defenders fly by, and that could be a goal for the Saints here. Is anyone there to save it out? Yes, there is Baron with a huge save to stop it there. Seemingly coming out of nowhere, Saints are going to be kicking themselves for the, in the back for that one, because that was a huge opportunity. Now it's a counter attack for Sada Drexel. Spoos though closing it out and Saints are looking very very good here to find another goal they're finding these chances but the defense of Drexel has been just that good there's gonna be another big chance here but Baron finds the demo onto Spoos and with 30 seconds left the clearance comes out yet again seems like one or two more chances for the Saints is all they're gonna get but the ball's right there in front of the net Spoos finding a crucial save but Baron is surely gonna be able to close out the game with that fourth one Saints putting all their basket on the attack side, forgetting that they have to play a bit of defense too. Spoo's finding a pretty important save there, but Baron is there to follow it up. And I think that's all she wrote for the second game. Honestly, that is very unfortunate for the Saints though. These tiny little mess ups, that, that goal that was so crucial so to them that they just couldn't make it. And now Drexel has scored another one with 15 seconds. Saints have to score twice. It's nearly impossible to do. Second game is pretty much over. Saints just need to let it go, try to see what they can do next game. As for Drexel, though, they're playing very good this game, very different from the last one. They're not making the mistakes that they did. They're clearly very good at finding ways to fix their mistakes very, very quickly with four goals in game two. As opposed to game one, they've gotten a lot better. Absolutely. Drexel are going to be very, very happy with their performance. Their Saints are not going to be happy with themselves. It was a very well-played game by Drexel. They did find a couple goals seemingly out of nowhere, just randomly just dropped in for them. So Saints are going to have to pick that up defensively. Can't be making these mistakes against such good teams. And then when they got the lead, they played a defense very, very well. And Saints did find a goal or two, but just couldn't get back into the game. So congrats to Drexel. Now it's a 1-1 series. Very, very close here. Both both teams are going to be very, very tense. They're going to be nervous uh, for sure because this is a high, high pressure scenario and hopefully our Saints can close this one out. Absolutely. I mean, this game, this series, I mean, is already closer than the last two we watched. It really seems that it seemed that the Saints were dominant at first, but now this game, I maybe they've met their match, honestly. It's, it's looking very, very even. Drexel has played very, very good second game as opposed to game one. Game three, though, we are starting. Four minutes, 50 seconds. Not much has happened. Vesh with a shot on goal, but it is going to be saved out by Kevin there. Being cleared out. Zerf trying to get the shot, but Nitrix oh, is going to be there for the save. save. Baron with the shot as well, but it is going to get 50 back to mid. Nitrix trying to find a pass to his teammate, but he's just not going to find it. The ball is honestly, everything's moving very, very quickly. Both these teams are super, Baron. super aggressive. They really want to find these shots, and it's very, very close for both teams. These shots are very close. Vesh with a very good demo oh, gets the pass Spoots. to Nitrix, but Zerf is going to be there oh to save my. it, and Spoots almost gets that into the net, but it just bars down, and Kevin is going to save it. So many opportunities for both teams here, but nobody is capitalizing off of these. Nobody is making oh, these shots. Vesh with a huge bump as well. A big, big commit from St. Clair, and it was absolutely worth it for them. Spooge with a very nice shot. That bump was crucial to this shot. Spooge absolutely slotting it on the left side. Perfect to get it past that second defender. And this is looking so much better for St. Clair as opposed to game two. Only a minute in, Saints have a goal lead. They just need to keep that. I don't know where they mess up exactly, but they seem to just lose these tiny little leads and then it's 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 over. I don't I don't really know what happens there, but they just need to hold on to this goal lead. Absolutely a great start for the Saints getting that 1-0 lead, getting that first goal of the game is so crucial. They kind of went all out attack there sending all their members forward and we're able to find the finish. Vesh, can he find a second goal here for the Saints? It's going to be a tough angle for him there. It's going to get cleared out. Now it's going to be Zerf and Nitrix in this corner. Great touch there from Nitrix. Passing over to Vesh, but doesn't know the defender's coming out. Nitrix able to find a clearance. As you said, Saints just need to hold on to this lead. Yes, they want to put add on, but if they can just play defense for three minutes, they will be taking this game to 
They're gonna be on the counter attack, however, Nitrix is gonna be able to steal that boost away. And a lot of boost for the side of the Saints, no boost for the side of Drexel. But it's gonna be a dangerous shot on target coming out from them. Saints, though, able to play great defense and able to close it out. There's a shot, it's gonna be off the back. Where it's gonna be dropping right there. A bit of unfortunate timing for Vest there. Could not slow down in time and get that finish. Very good opportunity for the Saints there, but the more they make these opportunities, the more of them are gonna go in. Vesh flying through the air here. Zerf able to find the save. And uh, a lot of good attacks here coming out from the Saints. Not even needing to play too much defense as they're making the defense their offense. They're just putting on the pressure at all times. Vesh takes it around two defenders, but they all three are needed from the side of Drexel to find the save. It's still in the danger area, but Kevin takes out Vesh. And now it should be a counter attack coming out from Drexel as they're able to get possession of the ball. But Nitrix, is going to be here in the air, taking that 50-50. All three members from the Saints here on this side. Vesh taking it over his defender. Baron is there to close it out, though. But it's going to be Spoods here with a dangerous chance. Can he find the finish? No, not enough speed. And with two minutes left, Saints are looking very, very good in this game. Vesh going to have to find an easy save there. But it is in the danger area now. And there's a big demo coming out. Is Zerf going to be able to find the finish here? No, he's going to pass it off to himself. And that's... Uh, <laughs> Very lucky for the Saints that Drexel was not able to find a goal there. But as I say that, Spoods is there in goal, able to find a huge save on the side of St. Clair. And with a minute 40 left, they're doing well to keep this lead. Absolutely. St. Clair is clearly showing a lot of potential in this game. I will say that they, I mean, Drexel got a little lucky earlier on when Vesh just wasn't in the exact right spot for that goal. But speaking of the exact right spot for that goal, he's there this time, and he is going to lock in another goal in the game for the Saints here. Drexel is playing good, but I, their defense just doesn't seem to be good enough. I feel like these teams are just taking turns, having like really good attacks or really good defense. and it's always one team just trumping the other in a certain area. And that's very interesting to me, only because the play styles continue to change, which is huge, especially to be able to adapt against teams like Drexel. The Saints are playing very, very well and showing a lot of potential. As I said, Nitrix with a really good save. Spoods there with another easy save as well with the shot from Zerf. He tries to 50, but just doesn't get it. Kevin with the shot, Vesh is going to save it out, sending it back to Drexel's side. A minute left, Drexel have to score twice. They have to score two goals here. Zerf trying to see what he can do, but he just runs out of boost. Doesn't get enough control. Vesh trying to clear it out onto Drexel's end. Kevin passing it to the corner to Zerf. Spoods there with a really oh. nice touch though, and a shot on goal, and it is gonna go in. Very nice wall shot from him. Very nicely placed. 0-3 right now for the Saints. They are looking very, very good with a three goal lead and 39 seconds left. I think Saints must be very comfortable right now. Absolutely, they're gonna close this one out for sure. I don't think it's possible for them to lose with the way they've been playing. Not allowing a single goal in this game, just after getting that first goal, just playing defensively. And every time Drexel have over committed to an attack, Saints able to find the counter and find a goal. It's gonna be a shot coming out there from Baron. Maybe I spoke a little bit too soon. He finds one, but surely with 23 seconds left, Saints can hold on. A bit of a consolation prize for Baron, a pretty sloppy gold night tricks, trying to get the save there, couldn't get it. Saints won't be too too happy with that, but I think both teams, their minds are already in next game. They're just waiting for this clock to run out. Let's see maybe if Drexel gets a very, very early goal, they could bring it back. There's gonna be 20 seconds left, now it's 15. Night tricks on defense here. It's still in a dangerous area for the Saints, and. 12 seconds left, however, it's going to be a clearance coming out here from the Saints and with 7 seconds left, I don't think there's any possible chance for Drexel to bring this back. And now with the 1 second left, that's a fact. As soon as the ball drops, it will be game and our Saints are able to take a 2-1 lead over Drexel here, putting themselves on match point and looking to, looking to advance further in this tournament. That is a very big deal for the Saints as well. I mean, just finding a couple extra goals to really lock that in. But even sometimes it looks a little dangerous for this for the Saints. Like, they really do slip up sometimes. But obviously in these games specifically, we've seen a lot of improvement from them as well. I have to give them props for that. They really have improved their attack and their defense. Aside from tiny little mistakes that don't really matter anymore because we are in a new game. 
it's a very important series. I'm sure they're not focusing on these little things that don't really matter. They're just improving and playing better and better as the games continue, which is huge, especially considering how game two went. It was looking pretty bad for the Saints, but they've absolutely picked it back up. A two game lead in a best of five is very, very good to have for the Saints here. They just need to lock in another game. Yeah, as you said, there's going to be it's going to be important to get off to a good start and Saints are able to find a very, very quick goal. A huge demo coming out there. Baron passing it right to Spooz and Spooz says, thank you very much. I'll give it to my boy Vesh here and <laughs> get the finish. Saints, we saw what they did with a goalie last game, able to hold on the whole game and basically until the end, allowing it to go at the end, but didn't matter too much at that point. Drexel, this is when the desperation is going to come out. This is when we're going to see all three people going up. They, they need to push for a goal here. They can't just play the way they've been playing because it has not worked out for them. Saints are going to be very happy with how things are going so far. And they're going to keep playing this defensive style, looking for counters. I think that's the best way for them to play because their defense is so, so, so solid. Drexel are going to have to pull something really, really crazy to get a goal back here. And the Saints are just playing great defense. Vesh, Spoon, and Nitrix are just so good on defensive end. They know exactly where to be at the right place at the right time. Here we're going to see Vesh getting the clearance, playing in front of the net, a bit of danger there. Zerif is going to be there to win 50-50, but Nitrix is going to take it around one, going to take it around two. Beautiful play from there. Kevin is going to get a shot on target though, but that's a great save from Spoots. It wasn't coming in too hot, so he had time to get there. And that's a dangerous chance for Drexel, but Saints playing with fire a little bit, able to get the clearance there. And with a minute 30 left, Drexel need to find something to bring themselves back. Honestly, yeah, that save from Spooge was massive. He might just be the savior of the game with that save because that was definitely in. Spooge kind of just came from the heavens and saved his team from that goal. With that being said, though, Drexel is playing Nitrix. aggressively. Nitrix, though, with a very good shot go. and a pass from Vesh. That is so, so good for Saints. Up to Drexel still hasn't answered with any goals here. Nitrix, a very nice shot, gets it past that defender. I believe it was Baron there, and that is so important. The Saints have to be feeling pretty good, not too comfortable, but it's good to have a little more confidence with these goals, and you only gain more as the clock runs out, and these goals being unanswered by Drexel as of now is a little concerning for them because the, the time's running out. They have to score, like, right now, preferably. Absolutely. We saw Drexel go all out there on the attack, and... Just a full court shot yet again. It was a pass over to Nitrous getting the finish there. Saints feeling very, very, very good with his 2-0 lead. But Drexel is putting on the pressure. It's like a nice clearance there from Spooz. And now we're going to see Vesh get yet another very, very easy goal. And Saints are just racking it up. I think Drexel are big getting too desperate maybe. They're just setting all their members forward. And for the second goal in a row, it's just a wide open goal. It's not even coming in hot. It's just a full clearance and someone's there to finish it for the Saints. Was this 3-0 lead halfway through the game? Saints are looking very, very good to move on. Drexel not looking as good as it's gonna be a beautiful wow. finish by Nitrix. Kevin went for the save, but that could have been his demise. I, I think if the goalie doesn't even touch it here, it's gonna be very hard for it to go in as it bounces off the goalie and back into the net. Nitrix will take that one, and I think that's the nail in the coffin. I know there's still a good amount of time left, but considering every, everything else going on in this game, I think Saints are looking very, very good to close it out. Spoods finding the save there, and with two minutes left, it's looking very dire for Drexel. The caster's curse is real. I will say that. I have caster's <laughs> cursed a lot of things in the very few times that I've commentated Rocket League here. It does happen. Two minutes is enough time for Drexel to get these goals. But with desperation comes these mistakes. Like we saw the completely open net, not a defender in sight a couple goals ago, which is such a mistake on the side of Drexel. I understand that you want to get these goals, but making these slip ups is only making it worse for you. You just have to focus a little harder, get a little more coordinated, keep someone on your defensive end because otherwise it's just free for the other team. The other team being the Saints up 4-0. Drexel has still not answered a goal this game. And I'm really wondering if they're gonna be able to. As I say that though, Kevin with a really good shot on net, but Spoots is gonna be there for the save. Drexel trying to find something in this game. 
Baron with a really good demo under Nitrix. That was a huge opportunity, but it is just going to be missed out there by Zerf. And back onto Drexel's side it goes. As I say that though, Kevin with a big clear. Nitrix is right there to answer back, trying to make space for his team. Baron getting a clear, but it's just going to go back into Vesh. It is ping pong currently. It is just back and forth with this ball. Vesh with a redirect there almost gets it into the Nitrix. net. But Baron is there to save it. Nitrix with the attempt, but he's just not going to make it. 45 seconds left. Drexel still has yet to score in this game. Kevin with a really good clear there. Spooge bringing it back to his corner. Nitrix trying to clear out any defenders that he can, looking for somebody to bump, trying to make room for Vesh here. Saints playing very aggressively, keeping it on Drexel's side. 25 seconds left, still 0-4. Drexel just can't seem to score here. The Saints roster are just, they're playing so, so good here. 15 seconds, Vesh trying to find a goal, and he is actually going to manage that off the ceiling, into the wall. He's going to find that touch into the net. 14 seconds left, 05. I think it's done for Drexel, which is I mean, so yeah. unfortunate for a last game because Drexel showed such promise and such potential. They've been playing very good in the loser's bracket. I'm not sure what happened. That being said, though, nine seconds left. Any goal is just for no reason at this point. Saints are very comfortable with their 5-0 lead. Vesh might want to get <laughs> another one, but Zerf says, no, please, not another. And the ball is going to touch the ground, and the series goes to Saints 3-1 this series. Very well played from both teams. The last game is just so unfortunate for Drexel. I'm not sure what happened. They really showed so much promise. I, I don't know. Maybe they make these little mistakes, and sometimes they get in your head, and the aggression just kept coming, and no goals were scored. Yeah, I mean, Saints playing basically perfect defense. They were able to find one and then just play defensively. And every time Drexel went for an attack, they found that counter. They found the long ball. And every time it was an open net in that last game. So Saints just had a perfect game plan, I would say. They figured out how Drexel likes to play and were able to close them out very, very convincingly in that game four. Able to move on to the loser's quarterfinals, I believe now. Like, or loser semis, I'm not sure. If we could get the bracket, would be perfect if possible. There it is. They are moving to the loser's quarters, as I said. They're going to be playing against Indiana Hoosiers, who are a very, very strong team. And uh, on the other side, we're going to have North Texas taking on Florida State University. And the winner of that is going to be playing Algonquin College. Both Algonquin and Indiana are very, very strong teams. So no matter what, our Saints are going to have a very, very hard path to the finals. And uh, whoever they play, if they can make it to the losers, they're going to be playing U Ottawa in the losers finals, who got 3 0 by King University in the upper bracket. So King University just looking like a powerhouse so far in this tournament. They are absolutely looking like a powerhouse. And that being said, Saints having to play against Indiana is a little, I guess, worrisome, you could say. But yeah. we were also a little worried about Drexel and True. how Saints would play against them. And the Saints really proved our worries wrong, honestly. They messed up just a little bit, lost one game. But that game four was huge for the Saints. And I really think that can give them enough potential, hopefully, to carry into this next series with Indiana. It's going to be tough. They're really going to have to put up a big, big fight. But it's definitely doable for the Saints, and I think they really showed us that last series. They just have to kind of keep going. Yeah, and Indiana, you know, they've been sitting down for a little bit. They haven't uh, played in a while. They've been waiting for our Saints. Our Saints are fresh off a game. They still have their mechanics on point, so hopefully our Saints are going to be able to bring it out. But with that being said, we're going to throw to a very, very quick break, and we'll be right back with Saints against the Hoosiers.
Welcome back, everybody, to the Losers Quarterfinal Sierra Open number four. We got our St. Clair Saints Green on the blue side, and we got our Indiana Hoosiers on the red side. A very exciting matchup, two very, very strong teams, and uh, it's going to be a uh, one, one for the... I don't even know. What, I forgot what I was gonna say, but it's gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be an exciting matchup, nonetheless. That's all I know, and uh, yeah, let's see what our Saints can get done here. It is definitely going to be something. Maybe one for the books. That's the one. That is yes. That is. It took me a minute to find it too. That is a okay. It's tough when you're trying to focus on Rocket League as well, especially in a game like this. Saints against Indiana. This is huge and I'm really excited to see which way it goes as we know Saints have so much potential but Indiana is a very very strong team as I say that a big save is going to come out from Big E Nitrix though trying to find something for his team only a minute in with nothing really happening it's been pretty back and forth honestly not too many shots not too many saves coming out oh, as I say go. that though Vesh with a beautiful very fast shot on net with the assist from Spoods, the defender just couldn't make it there to clear it out. We saw Biggie, he was almost there. Tide was also almost there, but it just wasn't enough to find that save. Saints are up 1-0 against Indiana. Three minutes, 53 seconds on the clock. This is a really good start for them. Yeah, and I spoke with Vesh, and I believe the last time they played them, the Saints did get a sweep in 3-0, so they're gonna be looking to get the similar result today. And Vesh starting off hot, getting a goal there, but Biggie with a shot on target. Nitrix is there for the save. Pablo, however, is going to look to follow it up. Going to get a nice little pass off the back there, but Vesh is there with the save. And we are see our Saints making very, very few mistakes to start off the game. Indiana playing pretty solidly as always, but Saints able to take a huge one to lead. And uh, we've seen what our Saints can do when they play a bit more defensive. They just lock it down. Bit of a miss there coming out from the side of Indiana. Spoods going to look for a shot. Nitrix going to look for a shot. Pablo is there with the save. Very, very dangerous chance there, but it's still not done. It's going to be a pass back to Nitrix, but Tide reads it perfectly. He's able to save it out. Now it's going to be an attack coming out from Besh. Maybe 1v2 in the air, but Pablo is able to get the clearance. And now it's a bit of a dangerous spot for the Saints. But Spoods is there on the defense yet again, able to take around his defender. Big E is going to pass it up to Tide. But Pablo is going to choose to take the 50-50, and he will retain possession. Can he find a pass towards the middle here? Gets blown up by Nitrix, though. And Vesh will be there with the clearance. Saints playing very, very solid defense so far. Not even allowing a single shot on target, I don't believe. As Nitrix is going to find the clearance yet again. Pablo is going to look for something dangerous here. Has no boost, though. So two members from Indiana get blown up and now it's going to be on the Saints to start a counter attack but everyone is back immediately Pablo's going to look for something can't find too much but Biggie's going to find the shot on target and even after getting two players demoed Indiana are able to find that goal back and tie this game up they responded very well to those demos as well it kind of just felt like they were being bullied by the Saints for a second and the Saints have paid for the bullying I guess because Indiana did find a way to manage that goal which is very odd considering two of them were demoed so recently yeah. before that goal a little bit tied and Vesh just held hands going up the wall that was pretty was pretty funny there but Ty did stop and let Vesh go Nitrix with a good save from Pablo's shot there Ty trying to set it up for his oh team my. going for whatever bump he can and he's not going to find it Vesh is going to be there for the clear 30 boost in the tank he gets the flip oh, reset and bounces so it nice. over two defenders very well played from Vesh there. Very good ball control. The boost control as well was just perfect. Manages to get that slot, like absolutely slotted into the top left, which is very good for the Saints. 2-1, a minute 55. This game's looking really good for both teams, but the Saints right now are looking a little bit better. Yeah, they're able to take that 2-1 lead, but Pablo with a very dangerous chance there off the rip, couldn't get the touch onto the net. There's going to be a big demo coming out from Pablo, but Spoots is there on the clearance. Tide, however, is going to get the shot on target. Vesh will respawn just in time and is able to get the save. Huge save by him there. And with a minute 30 left, we're going to see Indiana Hoosiers probably put on the aggressive aggressive game plan a bit here for this last seconds but there's a full court shot just off target not going to be anything too dangerous for side of the Saints however Nitrix going to look for something big he's going to get the pass from his teammate going to get the shot on target but Spoos with a huge save there managing to keep it a 2-1 game still but Indiana are putting on the pressure now both Tide and Spoos here on the side can't find too much Pablo going to pass it up to Big E he's going to choose not to shoot it going to pass it down to his yet again to Tide but Tide just misses the ball though maybe a bit of confusion coming out there for both teams the Saints are able to clear it out with one minute left. Spoods 
gonna find the clearance pass over to Nitrix. And now the Saints just need to hold on to this lead. 50 seconds left, but Indiana are putting on the pressure. Pablo's gonna take it to this left side. Can he take it around his defender? Tide's gonna choose to put it into the corner again, but Nitrix is gonna be there on the clearance. And with 40 seconds left, Indiana really need this goal, but they're not finding too many opportunities. Saints playing this defense perfectly. Pablo gonna look for something on this attack. Can he find the pass over to Tide? Yes, he does, but it's a bad touch from Tide and Vesh is gonna be able to find the clearance. It's gonna be a shot on target, I believe. No, it's just off target, so Biggie won't find the finish. Pablo, however, gonna find a beautiful shot right into the top corner, and Indiana with all that pressure are able to find that second goal and tie up this game one looking to bring it to overtime with 25 seconds left what a big bump from biggie as well onto vesh there that bump was crucial to the play from indiana and they've closed the gap 25 seconds left oh my. they played very well already playing aggressively ty trying to find a shot there but he's just not going to manage it back onto indiana's end it is going to be cleared out tied trying to get it back onto the Saints and nobody wants overtime. They want to score now, preferably. Five seconds left. It's gonna go back to the side of the Saints. It's gonna be cleared out from Vesh. And I assume these teams are just gonna let it touch the ground. Overtime, game one, it's looking very evenly matched. Both teams are playing oh, very no. well. Already though, no. a very unfortunate Three. goal. Three seconds in, a kickoff goal to so unfortunate oh. on the side of the Saints. Very well played from Indiana, though. That second player was just up a little bit faster than the Saints' second player, and that's exactly how they got the lead there. That's three seconds in. is so unfortunate for Saints, but you really just shake it off, I guess, go yeah. next. I, I hardly even had time to react. <laughs> it was just three seconds in, and then it was in the Saints net. So that's really, really unfortunate for them. Yeah. But they're showing a lot of promise. Both these teams are playing very, very well. Saints have not really made that many mistakes. There's no. just been tiny little differences in the teams that are finding them these goals. Like that kickoff goal, kickoff goals are pretty lucky. They're not the most common thing. So I think Indi Indiana definitely was saved a little bit because that overtime could have gone either way. It was just very unfortunate that it went the way of Indiana off of a kickoff goal. That being said though, we are in game two. Biggie already with a demo on Devesh. The aggression is coming out very, very early on. Spoods with a good 50, trying to clear it. He's just not gonna manage it. Nitrix though, hitting it off the wall, trying to clear it back onto Indiana's side. Spoods, really good ball control, but he doesn't have enough boost. Tries to fake out the defender there but it, is seem, it seems to be a little bit red. And Nitrix trying to find a pass. He's very, very low on boost though, tied as well. There's always a couple players that are basically at zero and the rest of their team just has to pick it up for them. Indiana playing very aggressively, keeping it on the side of the Saints. That being said though, Spoots is gonna try to go for a big clear and Nitrix is gonna find the clear, trying to get it over this defender oh, and he nice. is gonna manage to get it, but Biggie is gonna be there for the save, a very, very good attempt from Nitrix, but it just wasn't there. Vesh trying to play a little more aggressively, trying to get rid of these defenders, make more space for the team. That being said though, Pablo tries to get a shot into the Saints net, but he isn't gonna make it. Vesh, very good ball control, also gets a bump oh onto the defender, and it almost goes into the net, but the defense is just there for Indiana. They are barely making these saves, but either way, they are making them, and the Saints have to be getting tired here. So much aggression, so many shots, so many attempts, and they just keep getting saved. Nitrix with the shot, and Biggie saves it there. Now it's back on the side of the Saints, who, like I said, must be exhausted. You put in so much effort into that aggression, so many shots, all for them to be saved is so unfortunate but it's looking good for the Saints only because their aggression is showing a lot of promise. Keeping it on Indiana's side for so long was huge. It's just very unfortunate that Indiana's defense was just a little bit better this time. Yeah, they're basically on the attack for two minutes, but could not find the goal. And uh, it's very nice attempt by the Saints, but Indiana just playing so, so well. With that being said though, Nitrix, Shuts me up very quickly, gets a goal for the Saints, a very crucial one at that. They were pushing it for it so far, and it was a nice little team play. Nitrix passed it to himself. Vesh there with the body block, making sure nobody could get in his way. And Saints take a very, very important 1-0 lead. Indiana haven't seen to God any attacking going this game. And Saints are just cruising, but 
As I say that, the ball's right in front of the net. Now, Indiana can't seem to get a second. No, just a bit of an unfortunate bounce. Now it's going to be Pablo on the side here with a dangerous opportunity of his own. But Nitrix is there on the save. Tide going to look for a follow up shot, taking it over Vesh. Can he, can he win the 50 against Spoods? Yes, he does. Pablo's going to be there on the follow, going to take his time. And Nitrix is going to be there to clear it out just in time. Spoods is there as well. Biggie's going to look for a big 50 50, but can't find too much. And Vesh going to find the clearance. Saints able to hold on to their lead here. Playing great defense. Vesh looking for a pass maybe to a teammate. Nitrix is there just a tiny bit too late. But Vesh is there flying through the air. Is Spoots going to be there? No, he won't. He's going to get back on the defense because he knows the dangers of the counterattack here. And Pablo wow. with the crossbar, getting it right to Biggie, putting it right in front of him and getting the finish. And that's what they were scared of, the counterattack so deadly from Indiana. You could see the pass there coming out right over to Biggie. Spoots can't really do much on the defense there, coming in with too much pace. And just like that, it's a 1-1 game. We're starting off fresh yet again. Very, very close there from Spoods as well. Like, he was almost there for the save. Like, these defenders are just millimeters away from getting these saves, but they just can't find them. And 1-1, one, one, two minutes left. Both these teams, as I've said countless times, show so much promise. They're pretty evenly matched. And I think Saints are playing very well against them, especially considering oh, we know how much of a powerhouse Indiana is. But Saints are playing very good. Vesh oh my. with a lot of aggression. Spoods getting the bump as well. Vesh oh doesn't my. have any boost, though, to get that into the net. Jeez. Huge plays coming up from St. Clair. But Vesh, just with the lack of boost, isn't able to get that in the net. Spoods, though, with a very good attempt of bumping those defenders as well, making the space. It just wasn't fast enough. As I say that, though, it is going to be oh, on Vesh. Indiana's side. Nice. And Vesh is going to score there. Finally, honestly, Vesh has, he's gotten a couple shots on net, but they've just been too wide. So I'm very happy to see him score this one. Very, very important for the Saints. Up one goal, which is not the most comfortable thing, but it is enough right now. But we have seen this one goal lead before in Indiana have brought it back so it can go either way here a minute 18 oh, seconds no. left nitrix with the shot but he just doesn't make it so unfortunate for these saints just making these tiny little mistakes they're just not making it into the net and indiana is going to capitalize off of that bring it back to the saints and it's high spoots is going to try to clear it actually give it off to vesh who's going to just run into pablo very good aggression from indiana they do still have to find this goal Keeping it on the same oh, side, Pablo gets the double oh, touch. Spoods, though, there with a huge save. Massive for his team. I've called him the savior at least three times now. It's going to be the fourth. He's the savior once again for his team there. 38 seconds. Indiana, like I said, has to score. Saints are doing very good at keeping it on Indiana's end. As I say that, though, it is going to be cleared out into Vesh, who's going to try to find the pass on the Spoods, who redirects it. Vesh there with the shot, but he's just not going to make it as it is going to be saved out from a defender there. 19 seconds left. Indiana have to score here, which they absolutely can. They just need to coordinate something. Spoots, though, going to clear it out very wide there. Nine seconds left, still on the side of Indiana. The Saints are just going to try to keep it on their end. Vesh just wasting time here, taking up some time, <laughs> just air dribbling it there. Almost getting the pass to Nitrix, almost getting the goal, but it's not going to go That's in. And it is just going to drop to the ground there and win the Saints game two. Yeah, very well done by the Saints. Just felt way more dominant in that game too. Yes, in, it was a close game in 2-1, but it just felt like Saints were on the attack for most of that game. Indiana couldn't find too much. Yes, they did find that one goal, but that's it. Our Saints looking very, very strong in that game too, and they're going to be looking to take this series based of how they played in that game. They had great defense, uh, great offense, and did everything they needed to to win the game. Absolutely. I mean, Saints played very well that game even in the first game too as we know they lost off of a kickoff goal which is so unfortunate and they really wanted to avoid that happening again which is what they did second game they just won it no overtime needed they had it and game three it's 1-1 right now both these teams are very very good it's honestly just little mess ups from different players that are making these openings for the other team to score. It's just tiny little things that are just becoming bigger as the games continue. Yeah, absolutely. Mistakes at this level of the game matter more and more the better teams you play against. And our Saints have cut down on their mistakes, it seems like, for the, from the first few Masters, as Indiana are a very, very dangerous opponent. And uh, they're making this series very, very hard for our Saints, as uh, we'll state yet again. 
The team to lose is out of the tournament and Big E does not want to go out. Gets a very quick first goal. Nice little pass here from Pablo. Leaves it up right above Vash and he finds the finish right next to Spoods. He tried to guess which way he was going to go. Didn't guess right. Very hard to save that one. And Saints are down 1-0. Indiana's going to be really happy with that start. But Saints need to get something back. Vash does get instantly demoed though. So they won't be able to find the attack too early. Big E gets the clearance here. Saints need to play like they played last game. They need to be on the aggressive, on the attack. Now that they're down one goal, maybe a bit even more of that. And just Indiana's probably going to look to play a bit more defensive. Going to try and get a second goal maybe for insurance as Spoods gets for a shot there. Pablo is able to save it out. And he's going to be able to grab this boost. Can he find anything? It's a 50-50. Tide is going to be there. And it's a bit of danger here for the Saints. But Nitrix, nice little clearance there. It's going to be a big E going up for the contest here but he's not able to find it Pablo is there right behind him to help clear it out and it will be cleared out Spoo's taking over his defender but not too much danger there let's see if the Saints can find anything on this attack Vesh getting it over his defender but Pablo is there with a crucial save that would have been a goal surely Nitrix though it's looking very good for the Saints here can Vesh find the finish no Spoo's is going to be there for the follow-up but not too much power on that shot and Saints gonna have to drop back now as Indiana's on the counter attack Vesh getting the clearance but Big E is gonna take his time surely here oh a bit of a mistake there from Big E however but <laughs> luckily for Indiana they're able to maintain their advantage that's a crucial mistake that they made unfortunately the Saints couldn't follow up there that is very tough from Besh. He had the shot. It was just a little too wide. These Saints are finding these opportunities oh, and dangerous really attack. trying to capitalize. But as I say that, oh, Indiana is there. Seemingly, it's over and in the net of St. Clair until Vesh says, no, not today. We need time to score this. And he is going to get a really nice save onto that ball, trying to see what he can do with no boost in the tank. He manages to get a demo on the Tide, which is big for making space here. Nitrix, oh, Vesh. really good air it's control. Vesh going for bumps and oh, demos the bump. on the defense for Indiana, but he's just going to miss that bump on the second defender, which is super unfortunate. Saints do have time to find a goal here, but it is beginning to look a little more dire. Indiana are playing very, very well this game, and Saints are playing good, but they're just missing these tiny little things, which are so important. As I say that, Vesh with a shot on goal almost, but he just doesn't make it. It's just so, oh. so close. Spoods almost as well with the shot. But it is going to be cleared out onto the side of Indiana. Almost a goal there, but it is just a little too wide. Vesh going for the clear here. Gets it past one defender. 1v1. He's going to 1v1 this one. He gets the flick shot on net, but Pablo is going to be there to save it. Spoods trying to get it past the defender, and he does. It's going to be a shot on goal, but again, another save coming out from Tide. Tide is just clearing this out he's doing the best he can to keep his team in the game here still up one indiana has a little bit of comfort but saints have oh. none they need to find something oh, now man. and it's so close it bounces off the backboard and just doesn't make it and vesh with a huge save for his team Not there again. pablo with a shot is just a little too wide the Saints, I don't know, somebody is looking out for them today because that definitely should have been in their net. <laughs> that is absolutely insane. What a good save from Besh as well. Just a little too wide from Indiana. It's still on their end, though. Spooge with another good save, but Pablo is going to demo Vesh. It's not going to be in their net, though. Nitrix is going to try to clear it out. Not much boost in the tank. Spooge is going to go for a big boom down the field. Biggie's going to be there to clear it back out to Pablo who might find a shot on goal, which he does, and Nitro Nitrix is there to save it. Vesh trying to find some goal for his team. Almost 35 seconds left. Saints need to score now to even it. And it's back on their side. A shot from Big E, but Vesh is gonna save it out. Nitrix trying to clear it, but Tide is just a little faster. Boost in the tank. Spoots is gonna just take it from him there. Try not to give him the control. As I say that though, Pablo is coming in for the shot. Vesh with the save from Big E as well. Nitrix trying to clear it out. 10 seconds left. The Saints have to find a goal here. They're looking okay. They just need to find this pass, which Vesh is going to hand out, but nobody's going to be there to score it. One second. I assume Indiana is going to let it hit the ground as soon as they can. There is time That's for the possible. Saints, though. They just need to keep it up and get it into the net there, but it is going to almost touch Hello? the ground, but Aww. Vesh keeps it up, and Pablo is going to hit it back down. A close game, very unfortunate for the Saints though. Indiana played very, very well. All of the players on that team did a very good job at 
keeping the ball on the Saints end, playing very aggressively, and Saints almost had it at the end there, but they just couldn't get it. Yeah, it was a very well-played game from both sides. We saw Saints on the attack for like three minutes straight, I felt like, just throwing shots in there and for a minute at the end there. Had to hold on for dear life as Indiana came back with their own offense, but Indiana being up a goal, we're just able to maintain that lead and now take a 2-1 lead in this series. As we've stated, we'll state again, loser does go out and our Saints have been going on such a good run in this lower bracket they don't want to go out these players are good in the clutch we've seen them win so many 3-2 series are gonna have to come back and win two in a row here but Indiana is gonna look to close it out here as it's an aggressive start for Indiana they have the ball on the side of the Saints and we can see how different the game is when the game is 0-0 the game plans just switch up Pablo finds it over his defender Big E flying in there. Can he find the finish? Oh, a bit of a mistouch by him there. He's going to want that one back. But Saints are able to get it on the defense tied now. Going to look to find something on the offense. But Vesh is able to clear it out. And Saints are able to maintain Indiana in that first attack and able to get the defense going. Big E, however, on the attack. Doesn't want to slow down. Vesh is able to find the defense here tied. Oh, a bit of a misplay there. Now Vesh going to have a 1v1 against Pablo. Can he take it over his defender? No, he can't. He just has no boost. Not enough power in that shot. Now Tide's going to be able to clear it out. And it's a very, very even game to start off game four one minute gone no real opportunities just yet just a bit of feeling out from each team but not finding any big chances just yet but as i say that spoo's gonna set up vesh can he find a nice little pass to himself off the top tide does not allow it to happen and the defense is pretty good here from the side of indiana but saints are keeping up the aggression spoo's can he find the shot on target here no no but vesh is there and is able to find the finish with so much power even with two defenders in the net able to find the goal and now saints take a crucial 1-0 lead in this game four Spoods with a really good setup as well. He hits it into Tide, who just manages to find Vesh on accident in the field and gives him a nice little pass. Vesh with very good shot placement there as well, getting it past those defenders. This is a really, really good start to this game for the Saints, especially because of how important this series is. They have to win this game. Oh my. Otherwise, it's over. But as I say that, Tide with the shot. And Nitrix is going to save it out, but sadly hit it into Pablo, who is right there for the goal. And that is so wow. unfortunate for the Saints. Indiana answered back so quickly to that first goal. And that has to be a little scary if you're on the side of the Saints. That was a very, very fast response. Yeah, very quick response there by Indiana and Saints. Getting that lead, needed to win this game. We're probably feeling so good after that first goal, but after that, that's a soul crusher. But they have to keep their mental in check. They can't get too upset with themselves. There's still a lot more Rocket League to play. Three minutes left. He's gonna look to pass over to Tide. And oh my goodness, almost to save there coming out. But in the matter of, it feels like nothing. Indiana Hoosiers are just able to find a 2-1 lead. Great team play there. Nice pass from Pablo to Tide. Spoo's looking for that crucial save as he has found so many of today, but not able to find it there. And now, this is kind of like last game, a bit still early into the game. Indiana having a one goal lead. Playing, are they going to play a bit more defensive? Or are they going to look for the third one on the aggression here? Big E is going to look for the shot, but it's saved away by Nitrix. And now Spoods on the counter attack, going to look for a goal of itself. But Pablo's able to clear it out. And I think Indiana are going to be playing a bit more defensive. Saints are going to be on the aggressive, just like we saw last game. It's going to be a nice attack there from Vesh, though. And just like that, he makes it a 2 2 game. Everything I just said is going straight out the window <laughs> as we are back into a tied game with three minutes left. And Vesh with a very good flip reset there as well to get it over that defender. So huge for his team, such a big goal. Three minutes left, 2-2. Two, two. Both these teams are playing as best they can. You can tell how bad both of them want this. You can see the stress level starting to rise in these teams in the way that they play. Some of them are getting a little more aggressive. Indiana just wasn't passive enough, and Vesh was able to get that goal. It's even now, though, so both teams need to get back to being aggressive and trying to get that goal for themselves. It's huge. Absolutely, and uh, yeah, we've seen, oh my goodness, Pablo, with, speaking of goals, Pablo <laughs> finds another one, that was just an amazing finish, off the roof, finds the touch, oh, what a finish, finds it around the defender, Nitrix can't save it, just a perfect angle for Indiana, and will that be the goal that they needed, that we were talking about? 
getting that lead yet again. Saints, though, have been resilient in this game four, finding a couple goals already. Going to look to find the third one right here, right now. Oh, just above the net. Great attempt by them there. And now Indiana will get the counterattack. Looking to play a bit more aggressive now with the lead, trying to get into the half of the Saints. Big E's going to go for 50-50. Tied. It's going to miss it, but it's going to get a big get a big bump there. So gets the job done. Vesh with a bit of a dangerous touch in front of his net. And oh my goodness, right off target. Tied. Tried to get a shot there. Just a bit lower, and it would have been danger for the Saints. But now shot on target coming out from Spoods pretty slow, so Biggie's able to save it out. Two minutes left. Saints need a goal to keep themselves in this tournament, keep their lower bracket run alive. Big E, however, going for a 50-50. Nightshix with absolutely amazing defense, able to close him down. Has no boost, though, but he will get past another defender. Now Spoods will take over from here. He's got some boost to work with, but can't find too much. And it's great defense from the side of Indiana. It's going to be pass up to Tide, but Nitrix is there in the air to find the clearance. A minute 40 left. It's Big E. He's going to be looking for a shot. No, he's going to fake it out. And Vesh may be able to find the third one here alone. Yes, he will. Just single-handedly putting the... Saints on his back, finding yet another goal, and the Saints are able to tie it up at 3-3. That is huge, once again from Vesh, finding that goal for his team, so, so important. It's looking really scary though for the Saints, yeah. Indiana is playing so, so well. It's honestly been a couple of hero plays that have been keeping them in this game. And again? Almost oh. another one from Vesh as well, and major props to him for scoring these, but as we've talked about before, the Saints are a team. They have to work Absolutely. together to find these shots. Indiana is doing just that. Oh, what a a huge pass to Pablo. But Nitrix is going to be there to save it. Nitrix's defense has been very, very good this game. He's been showing a lot of skill and ability to try to keep it out of his net. But even still, it's still 3-3. Both teams still need to score once again. It just seems to even up all the time. As I say that though, tied with a shot on net. Nitrous is going to be there for the save. Biggie with another shot. Vesh with a pretty easy save as well. Trying to clear it out. He's going to get 50 there. It's back on the side oh, no. of the Saints. Oh, a little no. bit of a mess up and a triple commit it looks like. And Pablo is going to be there to score that. That is so, so unfortunate for the Saints there. Nitrix with just a really unfortunate touch and the rest of the team is unable to score that. It just happened a little too fast. It's very, very unfortunate. I bet they're kicking themselves a little bit for that one. But that being said, there is still 40 seconds. The Saints have time. They just need to do a little oh. better. As I oh say my that, Spoods showing What's us exactly on? what a little better is with a beautiful flip reset as well. Just wonderful. He gets the musty, like kind of kind of nasty. I'm not going to lie. Very nice. Very good to even up the game once again. It just keeps four, four, getting tied up. 4-4, four, four, 37 seconds. It's huge. Tied with a big demo on to Vesh, though. Back on the side of Indiana. It's going to be cleared out. Nitrix passing it to Vesh. Biggie almost with the pre-jump, but isn't going to find it. Tide, though, is going to find that ball there. It's, oh, that's dangerous. It's in front of the net of the Saints, and it looks like Big it's e. over until Spoods is there for the save. Big E, though, with the shot. Vesh, not a lot of boost in the tank, uh -oh. trying to find the clear. Uh -oh. And it is going to be a shot from Pablo as well. So, so unfortunate for the Saints. It was a big clear until it hit Pablo, and then it was in the net. Nitrix so, so close to saving that, but it might have been just a little too fast. Nitrix might have been just in a weird position there. 12 seconds left. The Saints have to score now, or the series is over. This is so important, and it's not looking too it's good because it's good. back on the side of the Saints. Indiana's just going to want this ball to touch and the ground, is. and that's exactly what it's going to do. That honestly was a very interesting game. So much happened. Four or five. It was so close. But just these, like we talked about before, these little mistakes that happen and just the other team capitalizing off of it. Very well played, though, from our Saints. So, so good. Yeah. Very good attempts. Very good games. They, they didn't get 3 0 so they played very, very good against Indiana, who we knew was a very, very strong team. I think Saints definitely played very, very well today. Yeah, they played well. They should keep their heads up. A crazy, crazy game there to close it out. Losing 5-4. So many goals coming out in the last minute. So many clutch plays from all of our players. But with that being said, we are out. Unfortunately, congratulations to Indiana and good luck to them in the rest of the tournament. Our Saints not getting the best finish today, you know, but 
they played pretty well. They played good Rock League. They did lose to a very, very strong team, so they got to keep their heads high. And uh, I don't think they'll be too upset with their um, result. Like, obviously, they won't be happy because they lost. You can't be happy when you lose. But uh, they have a lot to learn from. You know, they a lot of their goals, it felt like, in that last game were just kind of solo goals made out of nothing. Just great individual play. I think what they need to do, since they have that great individual play, they need to work and put it together a little bit, do a bit more teamwork. Because we saw Indiana, we saw a lot of passes coming in and then shots out there. Saints, not finding too much of that, just kind of the solo flip reset. So good try by them. And unfortunately now they're out of the tournament. Yeah, that is tough. But like we said, they really had a great run today. They did so much better than a lot of people thought they would, especially knowing the teams that they were going up against. It's so important that the Saints are proud of themselves and how they played today because they played very well. It's just very unfortunate that Indiana just found that last goal. Yeah, and with all that being said, we're gonna wrap it up today. Let's say thank you to everyone in the back. Thank you to all of our sponsors. We got Sinclair Illumini, SRC, we got Subway, we got Tim Hortons, and we got HyperX. So big thank you to the sponsors making all of this uh, all this streaming possible. Thank you to uh, Avery, obviously, for uh, helping me out on the cast here. I've been uh, <laughs> Theo, known as the Holy Juan, and uh, joined by Avery. And thank you guys for watching. We'll be seeing you guys tomorrow. I'm not too sure with what, but we'll be seeing you tomorrow <laughs> we'll for sure. We'll be around. <laughs>